What is up guys and girls, welcome back. Here is a video by me. I've been away for a while. Apologies about not being able to upload, but... What is up guys and girls? Whoa, 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 I can hear myself. Okay, yeah, apologies, I've been away for a while, but I'm gonna try and get back into the game and at least post a, a video every so often. I know on my channel I stay at least once a week, I know. That has really changed. That has been... It's been a while since the last one. I don't know, maybe a month. Anyway. If I do a video at least once a month, then great. And thank you to all the new subscribers who have joined the channel. Don't forget, once I hit 500 subscribers, there are going to be free giveaways. So, yeah. All you have to do is be a subscriber. More details as I hit over 500. So yeah, give away the so re prizes, rewards for people. More details to come. So basically, this game is called Mountain Blade, part one, um, and it's Warband. Yeah, well, Mountain Blade Warband. That's the actual title. Um, so basically, it's medieval wars. You know, like knights armor, build up your character, build up your army. Take over castles, take over villages, stuff like that. Rule the land. So, before I start the game, I'm just going to close my device over, save power, and if anybody messages me, I'll be able to respond. Whoa, what's that noise? Right, before I start a new game, I'm just going to do a custom battle, just to show you the basics. So you can do, you can choose different places. Uh, battle, siege, offensive, or defensive. So you can. Def this this is just like a custom battle, so you can battle. You can do this at any time. So right, I'm gonna try and take over a castle. Yeah, let's see which one. Let's go against this castle. Uh, choose my person on the left. Oh, well, I, I want to be a Nord. Uh, I want somebody with a crossbow, maybe. This dude. Yeah, let's be that guy. Um, my army is going to be 100. And I'm, I'm going to make them 100 as well. I'm going to make them a larger, so I'm going to make it tough on, tough on myself. Actually, I'll knighty there. Yeah, I don't want any horses. Get rid of them, they're useless. Right, so 23% of the enemy is going to be inventory and 77% is gonna be well you know uh, archers now this is my one All right I've got my character they've got their enemy I'm gonna have inventory men and a bit of archers just to give us some cover and fire so 86 inventory and 14% is gonna be Archers, right? Let's engage. So I'm I'm trying to take over a castle, right? There's there's the castle. There's our target. I've got a shield. Here are my men. We got our siege thing. Right. Hopefully the archers can hold. Right. Actually, inventory inventory need to follow me. Inventory follow me. I need them to keep out of the firing line. Keep them keep them away from those shooters. Right, the siege tower's moving. Need three men on it either side to hold the siege tower to keep it moving. Hold on, they're not moving. They're not moving it. Right. Um, inventory, hold this line. Alright, they're all shooting down at us, see? They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna kill us. Come on, man, move it! Oh. Charge then! Right, we've gotta charge because this siege tower won't move otherwise. It's a bit stupid because those guys are gonna just get shot. They're gonna get slaughtered. Right, the archers are doing their job, but we haven't we haven't got a lot of archers. 
Siege Tower's moving. Oh, guys, don't get stuck there. Oh, they're gonna get stuck. Oh, house call. They're the best warriors. Alright, look at them all. They're waiting for us to get up there. I already have a main account for this uh, for this game. I have to try it all out. Yeah. Look, a lot of my men are getting killed. Look, killed, 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 killed. We're all getting shot. I don't think I've got any archers left. I think they're all gone. <clears throat> Right, almost there. Uh, right, I'm gonna go in through the middle now. Just let my men go up there first. Giving it a good push. <clears throat> Come on, men. It's a drawbridge over. That's it, go on. Advance, advance. Oh no, it's still moving, it's still moving. Right, they're all going up now, the siege is away. Right, if archers hold this line, we'll give them some cover, if, if I have any archers left. Yeah, I've got an archer. Right, I've only got one archer. Hey, don't go up there. Why are you going that way? Right, the siege has begun, we're in. We've breached the wall. I told the archer to hold that position. Why is he going in? Here we go. This is the this is it. Look, look at them all. Damn, we're, we're losing men. We're losing so many men. Charge! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh no, I'm almost dead. Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. I think we've lost this. Yeah, archers defeat infantry. My men are getting killed. Oh! Retreat. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, anyway, that was just a demo. Right, start a new game. So I already know the rules. I'm better at the main game than anything else. Right, I'm just gonna read it out because there's no t there's no characters talking in this game except for raiders and things, the enemies. Uh, okay, let me read this. Welcome, adventurer, to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in a traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of nobility. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play as a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all of the same goals and in fact may have much more interesting if more challenging earlier game. Select your character. So really, basically, because it's a bit stereotypical, basically they say males, you should choose a male character because you're given uh, given banners and rights straight away, but if you're a woman, you have to really work for it. If you're a man in this game, you're given pretty much everything to start off with. But as a woman, because women didn't really have full rights, like lots of rights and things during this time, it's a bit more difficult. But you, it's more of a challenge. I've already got a male character, so um, I'm just gonna make a lady character this time we like a challenge and for the stream hey why not uh, okay you were born years ago in the land far away your father was now this is how you can choose your background as a character what what it's what where your background is and everything so 
an improver, improver noble. So if you choose the noble one, it means your father was a lord or yeah, something like that. Or a merchant, a warrior, a hunter, a nomad, a thief. So if I choose that one, the noble one, she she's basically a lady, as they say in the past. So if you're a lady, you were obviously you were possibly given off wedded to another person to form a house, form an alliance with another faction, so for example uh, these these have no meaning to the game but for example if Spain and England were at war and if the king of England had a son and the, the king of Spain had a daughter they weren't married with anyone, they would marry them both two together range of marriage in a way and there'd be a peace so stuff like that uh, yeah it's a bit confusing so I'd probably I'd probably be one of the daughters wedded off if I chose that one uh, a traveling merchant a veteran warrior so you've got to choose who your father was so if he was a noble you were, you're of noble birth if he's a merchant he's just a trader stuff like that a warrior a nomad I'll, I'll, I'll say he was a warrior, so in the war, okay? So as a child, your family scrabbled out uh, mid-degree living, I can't even read this, living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. Ah, so he was a king's guard, basically. It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on streets with or without a weapon in hand. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as, so this is me now, a page at a noble's court, a craftsman apprentice, a shop assistant, a street urchin, I don't know what that is, a stepper child. I think that might mean orphan. Actually, no, it wouldn't be an orphan. I don't know. What are these things? I don't know. But you can change it um, whilst you're in this page. So if I clicked it, it would tell me what it is. I just click go back and then I can change it. Actually, yeah, let's, let's see what a step of child is. As a girl growing out of childhood, you rode the great steppers on a horse. Of your own learning the ways of the grass and the desert. Although you sometimes went hungry, you become a skillful hunter and Pathfinder. In this trackless country, your body too started to harden with muscle as you grew into life of a nomad woman. Oh, okay. Then as a young adult, life changed and it's always, as, as it always does, you became a lady in waiting, a troubadour, a university student. So basically, it made, means she's a tracker. She lives by herself and she she fends for herself so save you trapped in the wild she's a survivalist yeah I think I'm gonna keep that so a poacher a smith so th this is what I've become now a good peddler so that's like a trader a smith games game poacher so like a hunter a university student hmm. lady in waiting that means she's been gonna be married off to someone we don't want to do that. Let's just say game poacher. Right. Um, though the distinction felt sudden to you somewhere along the way, you had become a woman and the whole world seemed to change around you. Dissatisfied with common men's desperate scrabble for coin, you took to your local lord lord's own forest and decided to help yourself to its bounty. Laws be damned you hunted they hunted stags, boars and geese and sold the precious meat under the table. You cut down the trees right under the, the watchman's noses and turned them into firewood and warmed many freezing homes oh, warmed many freezing homes during the winter. All for a few silver silvers of course. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. 
What made you take this decision? Was personal revenge, the loss of a loved one, wonderlust, being forced out of your home, lust for money and power? Let's go for money and power, yes. Okay. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. To everyone else, it's clear that you, you're now motivated solely by personal gain. You want to be rich, powerful, respected, feared. You want to be the one whom others hurry to obey. You want people to know your name and tremble whenever it is spoken. You want everything and you won't let anyone stop you from having it. Okay, become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. Right, this is it. Tutorial, this is just your name and everything. Right, let's name her... Let's see, gloss that, that's my main character's name. Uh, if you want, I'll be able to show you where he's up to right now. He's got a few castles and a couple of villages. <laughs> let's call her girlfriend. <laughs> Gathering, Grant, these aren't even names. Guest, Garden, it's just the... The dictionary for PlayStation is awful. Greens. Google. <laughs> yeah, name a Google. Um, Je Je Jeffrey? That's, that's a boy's name. Um, George. G-E-O. Jo Georgia. That's good. Georgia. What's Melda? Melda. Let's just come up with a name. Mel. Media. <laughs> oh, Melissa. Georgia. Melissa. Oh, Georgia, Melissa. Okay, let's try that. Now I can choose my skills. Right, this is this is what will affect the game. Hmm. Uh, so I have six intelligence, ten agility. That's pretty good. Uh, trainer, tracking. It's a bit useless right now. Pathfinding. I got six points to spend. Right, I do uh, engineer. No, it's a bit useless right now. In the early stages, I tell you. Uh, athletics. Personal skills. So these are personal skills. And now the party, the party skills, anybody in the party can have them. And it just takes the best score. But the personal skills, they're the best ones that I should really go into right now. <clears throat> uh, Luton, no. I have no need for looting in low level stage. Because i got to build my army up first. Uh, trade? No, I'm not too sure about trade. Uh, persuasion? No. Prisoner management? Maybe if, if I track down raiders and take prisoners and sell them. I can make quick money. Surgery. Well, <sighs> surgery. Right, let's just put... Summon the first aid stuff, so I've got one, one, one. That'll do for a little while. Inventory. Yeah, let's get one slot, because I might need a load of space. Tactics, let's improve that. Pathfinding. Yeah, that'll give me more speed on the map. Okay, let's get strength to 10. That'll make me stronger and be able to wear better armor. Intelligence, let's get that. Let's get it all 10. Well, that's everything I can do right now. Two more slots available. Riding. Uh, I don't know. Riding. Hmm. Increase your riding speed and maneuver. I don't know. Right now, it's just one. <clears throat> Training. Right, let's go Pathfind and increase my speed so I can outrun bandits if they're chasing me. If I need to run away, I'll have enough speed. Uh, spotting. Right, let's put in surgery. It just means if any by my followers are attacked, there's a chance they'll just get knocked out rather than killed. Knocked out, you can survive. Um, right, okay, here we are. Here's my character. 
Well, I can change her age and stuff like this, make her look like a granny. Look at that, gray hair, ew. Um, I should make her as young as possible. Skin, ooh. It's pretty hot. I like that. Uh, hair color. Uh, oh, come on. I'm just trying to get to the hair category. There it is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like a huntress. That's pretty cool. Oh, actually, let's go back. Let's... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm messing with the other stuff. I don't want to do that. Make her a monk. <laughs> Bald. Uh, actually, hair color. I want to change that now. There's not many hair options other than age. It's just dark. Nothing really signifying difference. Anyway. Make it really old. <laughs> Age makes no difference in this game, to tell you the truth. You, you can never die, so... Well, you, you, your character doesn't age, even after years pass. Even even if you played this game in a hundred years game time, you'd still be living. <laughs> okay, that's it. I've made my character. You hear about Chaldea. That's that's the land. That's the realm. Okay, that's that's where this whole place is set. A land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy, a heaven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power or glory in this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities. You believe you may leave your post behind, oh, your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key to your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by stories you hear about Chaldea and its kingdom, you, now this is me, join a caravan to Praven in the kingdom of Swagnia, or Swadia, uh, join a caravan to Revedin in the kingdom of the Fargus. Join a caravan to Tolga in uh, Kergit Kante. Take a ship to Sargoth in the kingdom of the Nord. Take a ship to Jaleka in the kingdom of the Rodux or Rodex. Join a caravan to Shiraz in the Saracen Soulmate. So they're the five factions. One, two, three, four, five. Six? Okay. Maybe a bit more than five. Okay, there's a... Yeah, they're the factions that are constantly at war with each other. I can just choose a starting location. So, Sargoth is the Nords controlled by King Ragnar. Um, I don't really know many of the other places that... Because I, I always... Well, on my main game, I've chosen the Nords as my... As my place, well, I, I joined their faction to help them take over the world, and it's paying off. The the, the winning, but say if I eliminate the whole map and give it to the Nords, then I'm on my own. I've I've got no allies. If I if I want to become the ruler, they'd be all against me. So yeah, that's the problem. Anyway, right, I'm just gonna start with the Saracen army. Yeah, okay, I joined a caravan. You came up with a caravan crossing the Great Desert to the east of Chaldea. The Buridan guides chose your route carefully, leapfrogging through treacherous dune fields and across empty gravel plains to low-lying oasis rich and orchards and date palms in... palms. Your great fear was that the caravan might lose its way and perish at first. The small bands of raiders who hovered just out of bowshot 
waiting to pick off stragglers were odd, oddly a comfort. At least water could be no more than a day's ride away. It was a great relief when the mountains came into view and on the evening of the following day you crested a rocky pass and in the distance could make out the sea and towers of Shiraz. So how did against the sunset? Uh, excuse my English, I'm not too good. Okay, you are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Shadez and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets which are still de deserted. All of a sudden you hear a sound that stands the hairs on your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding, sliding from its scabbard. Right. Looks like somebody's out to kill me. Oh! Oh, there he is. Get him! Now, just to let you know, whichever faction, well, whichever starting position you choose, like whatever city, um, this will happen to anyone, so. Yeah, there'll always be somebody out to kill you, like, right now. It only happens once in the game, just when you start off. Right, it was a bandit. And now this guy comes to help you. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less feast to, tr to trouble our streets at night. Although, heaven knows, he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. So he's a merchant in the city. Okay, the merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the streets, and then finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. Alright, so I'm in his place now. There's my character. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills, driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all this fighting on the frontiers. Fewer men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particular tempting targets last week. You see, they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from a prominent house? Out alone after dark in times like these, well... I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here, and didn't know how bad things have become. We have no such excuse. But he's family, so what can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments. Eva and I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about ransom, but I don't care to pay. So here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with Blade. Uh, more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly. Or you wouldn't be coming to Caldera to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits, to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget and my brother back safety says brother back safe 
In return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? Okay, I am interested. Alright, I just got a hundred dinars. That's the currency of the world. Um, you won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted. I'll warrant you first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads and villages around here looking for a bit of work. That's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you can pay. So take this purse of a hundred, consider it an advance on your reward, go round to villages and use the money to hire some help. I'll reckon that you need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good, sir. I'll go and collect some men from around the villages. Good. You can find me again in a tavern here in Shiraz after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what we do next. All right, you've taken your first quest. You may view your quest log by pressing that middle button any time in game Look, there you go pressed it now it says collect five men so this is how it all works out there uh, so all you gotta do is collect some men nothing too difficult and if you need any help you can learn about everyone in the game every character you, you'll meet every person see even the ladies of the realm say if you were a male character you could well you could try and win their hearts and make them yours, get married. I, I got married in my main game, which is impressive. So because I'm a lady character, I'd be looking out for male people who want to marry. See, all these counts, all these people. And every bit of information you get, see, family, son, wife, daughter, and even if they own land as well, so I haven't seen anything yet, but oh yeah, there you go. So for example, Count traded in. He is the lord of this castle. See, he owns that those bits of land, so if I go here or well, I have to leave the the room first. Right, that's me, because I've only got one person in my party, which is me. It's coming up as one. So however many people follow you. It will be added as a number, so right, let me just show you that name again. Or something. Uh, right, Lord of Haber. So, he owns Haber. So, let's see, you click on it, and you can click show on map. So, that will show you where all these locations are. So, if you want to find out where somebody is, you can go to these places. So, that's just a village, that one. And I can just go back here. So, this is where I am. Sure is one of the main areas of the realm. So everything which is like in bold writing like this, bigger writing, that means it's a capital, which means it will have like a tavern, you know, marketplace. So places where you can buy and sell stuff. But all these small named ones, these are just regular places. These are just castles and villages. So I so from Shiraz, the next big capital is this one here, Dura Cuba, which is one of the yellows, and then this one, Amarad, and then Bar Yeti. All the other ones in between are just castles and fortresses. So yeah, see Halma, Nara, Tolga, and Igro. These are the main ones: Darim, Uxal, Suno, Pravin, Sargoth to here, Wercheg. Okay, Karur, Revagin, Revadin, Kundan, and River Chag. So yeah, that's the whole map. So you can explore every little inch of this map, which is amazing. And you can also capture and conquer these places, which is which you're definitely going to need an army for, or you can join a join a faction. See, you can get it all yourself, or you can join an army and give it all to them. So say if you capture it, occasionally they'll give you some land to fund your army. Right, now my job is to go to some towns. I'm on my own. Right, 
So this is the world map. Now every time you click a destination, once you've hit that spot, the game will pause. So the map won't constantly play unless you move. Unless you hold down a certain button. So wait, let's recruit some volunteers. Actually, I'm going to need some food. Just in case. Oh, I have a shield there. Let's put that on. Good, good. Eight resistance. So I, I already have some dried meat. That's good. <clears throat> and I have some furs. Not that that will do anything. So I've got a, I've got a horse. I've got weapons, bow and arrow, barbed arrows. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's recruit some villagers. Oh, nobody wants to join me. Okay, next one. You can even recruit in taverns as well, but they're in main cities such as Shiraz. Same, same, same lecture. Let's go to Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. Hawaii. Ha ha. However you say that name. Ooh, watch out. Deserters. They try and attack me. If they got a chance. Eleven of them. I, I'd lose. One versus eleven. One Saracen recruit will join me. Okay, pay him ten. So that's my first man. So there's looters as well. Um... Right, that's the villages in this area, other than down there, Mitnun. Or I could go into the road, the realm of the Rodex. Right now, I'm a, I'm a neutral person, so they wouldn't attack me or anything like that. I haven't chosen a faction or anything. So you, you can basically recruit from anyone. Oh, five. Five people, five tribesmen will join me. Good. Excellent. Now, my party has definitely grown. I'm up to seven. I've definitely got more than five men. Let's just go to Chelez. Let's pick up one more person. And then I'll head back to Chelez. Oh, one. <laughs> okay. <coughs> All right, that's it. Eight people, eight men. I can keep going up, but I really just want to complete the mission, so let's head back. Alright. There we go. We're here. Alright, you can go to the castle, talk to the lords, or you can walk around the streets, go to the tavern. So, I was told he was in here. Oh, the Shiva watchman. So, they're people you can hire, but... They kind of sell swords, so you have to pay for them. Book merchant, traveler. And here's the merchant. And that sound means I've completed the mission. Splendid work. You have hired enough men to take on that band on the bandits now. Travelers entering Shiraz have told us that there was a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of town. I suspect that they are all from the same band. The one that took my brother, hunt them down and defeat them. And make them disclose the location of their lair. Very well, I'll hunt down the bandits. Yeah, we don't need to say anything else. Right, whilst I'm in town, let's go to the marketplace. So you can buy anything, arms, armor, well, horses and goods. So goods you're constantly going to need because the army that you've got with you constantly needs to eat. Food and water, but they don't they don't have water in this game. <laughs> so basically, it's just food. All you need to carry. I know everybody needs food and water, but yeah, right. I've only got ninety dinars. Let's just buy some bread. There you go. That'll keep them fed for a little while. Two stacks of dried meat and one stack of bread. That should, with a party of eight, that should last. <laughs> A good month, at least. I've been looking for you. Okay, what do you want? These are the robbers that I've been told to track down. I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Ha! Those prisoners are only going free if you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. <laughs> okay. You encountered a band of robbers. You have eight troops fit for battle against four. Charge the enemy! Let's go. Is this campaign? 
campaign. online in this mode? Um, you can you can go in online servers, yeah, but this this is just story mode, basics. All right, let's charge them fools. There they are. Char Actually, hold on. I'm gonna get off my horse. Let's charge them myself. Hold on. Good idea. Get my bow. Oh shoot! He's throwing poo at me. They're throwing poo. Uh oh. We got a knife. He's coming. Got you. Char oh, he lo I just lost a man already. Oh, well done. Congratulations, you're the first. Aye. Down. <laughs> Look at that, I lost a man already. Yeah, there is multiplayer in this game. You can do like loads of different modes, like arena and stuff like that. I haven't really fully done it, but I've just stuck to the main game right now. There you go. Anyway, we went. So, I lost one Saracen recruit. Dang. Right. Hey, spare me. Spare my life. Let me go. And I'll go far away from here. And learn an honest trade. And you'll never hear of me again. I'll spare your life. But in exchange, I want information. If you or your mates kidnap my the brother. Never played this before. Looks interesting. Interesting. Do you recommend? Yes. I definitely recommend. I, I I just started a new game, so uh, just just for the stream and stuff. I, I can show you my main game if you want, and then because uh, you can you can own castles and stuff, and I, I've got one, well one or two. But because this is a new game, I am just starting from scratch. I made a little lady character, as you can see. Okay, right. Um, I'll spare your life, but in exchange, I want information. Either you or your Before mates. Playing new one pads coming out. What? A new game's coming? Out? Hold on. Um, or you and your mates kidnap brother of a prominent merchant in town. On, let me just get my YouTube up. <laughs> I'm never gonna read this text. Uh, merchant in town, tell me where you're hiding him and. Give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts and you can go free. Right. Right. Before playing new one that's coming out. Ah. So there's a new one coming out. I, I, I saw like the French Revolution one. You can like have gunpowder weapons and stuff like that. I think it's PC. Well, I'm not, I'm not too sure. This is the only game on PlayStation in the series right now. Um, Tartan Army. Hello, Tartan Army. <laughs> One name. Right. Oh, bless you, my lady. Bless you. We've done the lad no harm. We've been keeping him in our hideout near Rush Rush I'll describe the area nearby in detail so there's no mistaking it. Right, there we go. Now, if I had the prisoner skill, I could capture him as a prisoner. Uh, but I don't. So yeah, there's my people. And as they train, as they go in more combat, you can train them to be better things. So like crossbowmen, spearmen, stuff like that. You can make them stronger. All right, and I've just looted what they had. So 24 body armor on that, which is better for mine. So I can wear that. See, better body armor. Uh, nothing else that I'm gonna take. Anyway, there you go. I got 19 dinars for taking them down those bandits. Right, so I'm just going to save right now, just so I've got a save game. So, Georgie Melissa, that's my current one, and my main game is up to day 266. Right, Georgie, I'll just save down here. It's good to have duplicate saves, because if you die, you can just reload the previous save. Because um, there's an autosave feature, it's always best to have a minimum of two saves, because if I died now, I couldn't go back, because I'm only on the one save. But if you've got two saves, you can, yeah, you can sort yourself out. So there's ways around. 
this game. So before you go into a battle, make sure you save twice. Um, because if you lose the battle, you can have a second attempt when you go back on your uh, save game. Anyway, so yeah, let me just quit the game. Let me show you my main game, uh, if you're still here. Tartan, yep, yeah, you are. Uh, load game. Yeah, I'll just show you what you can accomplish in this game. Right, so this is my main game. So basically you have own city? Could well, you explain game? Yeah, so basically, right, let me zoom out. So the whole so the whole world is basically at war with each other. So like the blue faction which is the Nords, the purple faction which is the well, what you say how'd you say it? Kedgit Katnit. Uh, the white to the Fargas. Um So yeah, basically every faction is at war. I can either uh, you can either join one, or you can make your own. But if you make your own, you're pretty much fighting against everyone else. Or if you join, or you can join one, etc., etc. I join the Nords, which is the blue army here. So they run by King Ragnar. Let me just show you characters. Where's King Ragnar? So th actually, that's my character there, Dirge Glostan. So, I, I, so yeah, vassal of King Ragnar. So I'm basically I'm one of his banner men, and he's the Lord of Bulg. Oh, this is me. I, I'm the Lord of Bulga Castle, Mars Castle, Merchin, and Rybel. They're two villages I own. So, in my family, because I, I got married, um, he's my father-in-law, Kundar, Jarl Gerald, brother-in-law, and Lady Elsiv and Lady Gundren. Which I married. She's my wife in the game. So yeah, <laughs> this is, actually let me just show you inside my castle. So basically, you can capture places and make them your own. See this 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 place is mine. My dinner table. This skeleton was kind of over here. As obviously, you can see it's been stabbed in the back. All the food. And here's my wife. Yes, my husband and. Yeah, basically you can you can invite everybody over for a feast. I've already done that once. See, relation is thirty. So the more good things you do, will improve um, your relation to someone. Bad things will not really do well. So see, let us think of a way to improve our standings in the realm, so you can choose things. Uh, so you may be aware, my lord between King Ragnar and Jarl Hader. Yeah, so you can you can solve disputes and stuff and you can improve your standings in the world, so... Yeah, like that, so you can check your chest, uh, see what you own. I've got loads of bread in here just in case the castle people get hungry. You can garrison the places. Let me go around the courtyard. So I, I've already... I captured this place from an enemy from an enemy faction, that's why it's mine now. I got the approval from King Ragnar, but if I wasn't in a faction, I wouldn't need approval to take command of this place, because I captured it myself. But because I'm uh, aligned with King Ragnar, which is the leader of the Nords, Blue Army, just so you know, um, he, he had the choice to give me the castle or give it to somebody else in his order. So, in the past, I've captured a place, and he hasn't given it to me, which is quite annoying. Um, yeah, because I, I attack with my own armies and things, um, stuff like that. So, you can capture a place, and it might not even be given to you in the end, but this one has been. And I have a garrison of, like, 51 men in this place protecting it whilst I'm away. And I've got a party of 91 with me, so because uh, I'm in the area, nobody will attack this place right now. Uh, so yeah, this is mine. Bulga, uh, somewhere else. Metal Merchant, that's one of my villages. See, it's been looted. And Rybelt, where's Rybelt? Here, Rybelt. The villagers have no protection at all. Uh, Hardly any protection, and this is one of mine, Mars, Mars Castle. I've got a garrison up there, but it's not very safe. Because it's in the heart of the enemy territory. 
Um, yeah, let me show you my men. So, 91 people in my forces, and the plus 15 means prisoners, so you could sell prisoners to ransom brokers. Uh, let's go to the party. So, this is this shows you everybody who's in my party. So, Ymir, Kales, Disha, Cavalry, yeah, let's see, Slavers, and stuff like this. So, this is my army. So I, the more you play the game, the more you can level them up and stuff like that. So see, I can turn him into a slave driver. Cost me 20, but now I have another one of them. Slave crushes, 120. Swagnian recruit, they, they'll become some militia. So things get better, see, farmers are the lowest of the lowest. Then you can turn them into watchmen, stuff like that. So yeah, there's lots of, even women, fight in the game, uh, you can turn them into camp followers, and then eventually they'll become sword sisters, which are cavalry. I don't think I have any on this one right now. I think I have them in my castle, because they're the best uh, women can be in the game. So yeah, I'm not really too sure what else to talk about, but yeah, you, you kind of see what's going on. All the stats and stuff. It's, it's a stat-based game, so when every time you level up you get some points and you can put points into, into the skills you want for example surgery um, on this list surgery will allow your your followers if they were to be killed in battle they don't get killed they just get knocked out instead so there's a cha there's a 80% chance that they get knocked out rather than killed because if they get knocked out they can recover and or join the ranks when they're fit again but if they die, they die. They, you can't get them back. Stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to leave this and get back to my main... Well, not my main game, but the game I was playing originally. See, and you can do... Oh, yeah, multiplayer, multiplayer custom battles, stuff like this. So this is just how, how you can test out a game. Say if you're new. You can test a siege, stuff like that. Uh, multiplayer, let me just go into this quickly. Cortex-364, male... Oh, see, you have to make an online character before I need this. Oh, it won't let me. It won't let me leave, so I've got to make one now. Uh, character customization, stuff like this, see? Hair, head, etc, etc, everything, really. <laughs> Skin colour, things like this. Right. Oh, he looks like Aragon, doesn't he? From Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Frodo! Frodo! <laughs> yeah, I think I'll have him. Uh, oh, yeah. The King of Gondor. <laughs> I don't know about that nose, though. Look at that nose. <laughs> anyway, it's funny. I'll leave it. Um, yeah. And you can choose your banner, but this, this is just because it's multiplayer. This is just what... Um, your emblem will be uh, seen by other players what it will look like. Uh, huh, I'm not too sure. Let's go. Imagine if they had the White Tree of Gondor. <laughs> That's if you're a Lord of the Rings fan. There you go. Right, so there's that. Join a game. You can always edit the online one. So this is what it looks like for online. I haven't really done much, um, but. You can join sieges and stuff, it just depends if there's any players. See, there's no people in them. So they're out of 64, but there's 22 out of 64 in seat in that one. So, different people play different games each day. So, 11 in the arena, so that'll mean just battle other players. I'm not, yeah, everything else, there's no one in, but say if you made your own server, I guess, if you joined friends and things, you could have your own little private battle. Stuff like that, but yeah, it just depends. See, these are Europe servers, US servers, yeah, Europe and US, and then the ping says what it's all like. I'm not gonna really go into it, but there you go, you can play online battles and stuff, duels and things. Right, I'm gonna load game. 
So yeah, I, I haven't heard of another one coming out, yes, but sounds good, if you say so. Right, let's continue Georgie. So yeah, I, I did have eight men, I've lost one. Right, there's some losers here, let me just get them. Surrender or die, as you wish, prefer to die. So, the bandits in the game are pretty much set around the whole map. Um, of, so, the, each each region has different names for the raiders and stuff, so these are called looters. We're in, uh, well, in the snowy areas, they're called sea raiders or something, I don't know. Yeah, there's lots of different names that can be given. See, oh, and in the combat system, you don't have to, the, your men don't have to advance straight away. Look, you, can, you can command everyone. You can tell them to hold this position, charge, follow me. And see, if you just wanted to send the infantry and you can send them to charge like I've just done now, archers hold this position. See, but I, I don't have any archers, they're all infantry, so they're just gonna charge and stuff. Right, everyone, let's just say charge. You can command everything in this game. Right, let me see if I can... Oh. You've got to get the hang of horse riding. What, what, once once you level up a bit, it, it becomes easier to ride a horse and stuff like that. But you can also dismount from horses like that. This game's worth getting. If you, if you want a good battle, uh, new game's called Mountain. Oh, Mountain Blade Banner Lord. Banner Lord. Mm, cool. So that's coming on PlayStation. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's, he's covered in blood. <laughs> look at his eyes. You can't even see him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my dude. See, I can't even equip the shield, it's a bit stupid, because I've got this axe, it's a two-handed thing. Uh, four killed. Oh, let's take this beanie. There you go, I've got a green hat. Nice wool hat. So all this stuff you can sell as junk to the traders, stuff like that. Oh, I just got 44 dinars for doing that. That's cool. Right, um... So kidnap, kidnap his hideout. So that's where the main objective is. And if you're unsure where these locations are, you can just go to the to, to the quest log, and it'll just tell you find a bandit layer near Rush Rushdech. Uh, yeah, and there's Rushdech, and here's the hideout. So let's take it out. You approach the hideout. The looters don't appear to have spotted you yet. And you should still sneak away unnoticed. The um, wait, unnoticed. The the only handful of troops in your party will be able to join the attack and will be unable to bring their horses. If your initial attack fails, the looters will easily be able to make their escape and disperse. Do you wish to attack the hideout or wait for another occasion? Attack. Let's attack. So hideouts do crop up around the map. Um, you can choose to take them out, and you, once you've taken them out, you can take what loot they've got. There, all prisoners, and some prisoners that they have, you can um, enlist them to join your army. That's if you've got space, because there is a capacity um, on how many people you can have in your army. But if you put your skill points into leadership, it'll reduce the cost for funds because you have to pay your army every so often. It'll reduce the amount you have to pay them, plus um, the more you can have in your little band of warriors. Right now, I've just got little peasants fighting for me. See, so look, pitchforks and stuff like that. It's not very strong. And I'm a woman character. So. I like to be fair with my men. I'm having a little war down there. Oh, I lost a man. Oh. 
see in the bottom left you can see what's happening um see one of my people just got killed I'm run oh see blue's are knocked unconscious by road actualizement that's one of my people so the bl blue when it's blue means one of my people killed an enemy when it's uh, red one of one of them one of my people have died when it's yellow they've just been knocked out Kill him! Kill him! Hey, dude. You're looking really hot. Because he's on fire. <laughs> Hold on. Who's that? Oh. I was going to attack him then. It's the merchant's brother. Thank you! Thank you, my... You have sold it to me and off to the store, thanks. Wait, wait, don't, wait, wait, wait. Don't buy it. Don't buy it yet. I bought it when it was on discount in the PlayStation Store. Um, I got it for under four pound. So that depend where you're from. I got like eighty percent off on the total price. So you're best waiting for the deal to come on, because um, it, it's always that deal keeps coming back every so often. Um, just just wait until the next store changed. There's a good chance that it'll be on offer again. So you're best waiting until it's got the offer on it but unless you can't wait but the longer you the, the more you wait the better price it's gonna be in the end um there's a, there's a good chance you'll get a good offer so and you can save your money and spend it on another game when it goes on offer as well but i i, I suggest you wait until there's an offer in the store it, it actually might be on offer now yeah if you want to check it out because i've had this game for a good well, two or three months, maybe. I haven't really... Well, I've been playing it, but I haven't streamed it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you, my lady, for rescuing me from those fiends. Did my brother in Shiraz put you up onto the track? Yes, I told him I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can, and be careful on the road. Okay, with... The retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to your determined attack for your hideout and uh, ill-gotten gains as, na as now yours. Alright, look at all this loot. Alright, let's take it all. And because I am full on capacity, see all this stuff, you can only sell it for two anyway. It takes the best things anyway, so if if after combat, it'll only take the best, higher priced items and just work the way from high to low, high to low. So you always get to keep the best stuff. 25. Ooh, actually, that's better than my current armor. Let's take it. 20. Wait, what? what the tw oh, here's the 25. So you one one bonus. Uh, now, what about my shoes? 10. So I've got 10 armor on my feet. What about these? 14. Yeah, it's worth swapping armor where every time you get the chance, so it'll improve your strength and things. Stones. Oh, sell price one. I didn't realize that then. Anyway, you get the idea. Mm. Yeah, it's a good game. So I have six men left. Let's see if I can recruit some more. Recruit. Yep, yeah, seven people join me now. Uh huh. Right, I got some more people with me. I forgot to mention, um, if you do own a castle or something, you can do castle upgrades. But it costs a lot of money, plus a lot of time. So if you've got your skill points in engineering skill, that will improve the build time. Because... The average time for building constructions is 30 to 60 days. So you can be waiting a while for buildings to be done. And by the time, but before it's even done, your place could be en ended up getting attacked. So you just got to be careful. Right, let's head to Shiraz. I've got 13 men with me now. Deserters, they're... Right, village farmers, they're allies. Right, here we are. We are back. Let's go back to the taverns. Meet, meet my dude. Hello. Well, my brother is home safe. 
I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to to a university outside Cordyra. That way, if he gets knocked out on the head in a street brawl, no one can say it's my fault. But that's not your problem. Here's the rest of your reward. It was well earned. The money is most welcome, and I am glad to have been of service. Good, now, are you interested in making some more? Possibly, what do you need? Remember how I told you the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I think I know who it is. The captain of the watch, no less. Some months ago, this captain seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to a sponsor caravan. Unfortunately, like many who are to commerce caravan. Unfortunately, like many who are new to commerce, he failed to realize that great profit only comes with great risk. So he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities and of course his caravan was captured and looted and lost everything. As a coincidence, it seems our captain turned to felony, recoup his fortune, I suppose. I'd do the same if the heavens forbid I ever faced in debit in what? Indebtedness? What are the. Yeah, that's the thing you find with this game. Sometimes a um, bit of the text is like old timey text, like, Thou art thou of and here. Uh, I don't know, I'm just making that up. But, you know, old, old, old fashioned words uh, said differently. Like, they'll, they'll have the same meaning, but it's read completely different. Indepotentness. See, I don't even know how to say that. I'd need me spell checker for that. And re ruinification. Hmm. <clears throat> now, any watch captain worth his salary will have a few thieves and robbers on his payroll to inform on the rest. But our captain decides to employ these bastards. Oh, he actually said bastards. Excuse my language. Wholesale. He brings them into the town. Let's them do as they will and takes a share of the take. You've heard of the poachers turning gameskeepers? Well, in the unfortunate land of Caldera, sometimes gameskeepers will turn poacher. Luckily, there are still a few brave, honest souls in the watch who've told me how he works. Now, here's the pl my plan. I could bring this to the attention of Sultan Hakim, Lord of this city, but that would mean an inquiry. My word against the captains and witnesses can be bought and evidence destroyed. Or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across the border again and I'll get for my trouble is a knife in the ribs. In time of war, you see King's eyes wanders far from his domain and his subjects suffer. So I've got another idea. I've got a small group of townsfolk together, some men in my employ and some others who have lost relatives to these bandits. And we'll storm the captain's home and bring him in chains before Sultan Hakim. Hopefully with a few captured bandits to explain how things stack up. All I need now is someone to lead my little army into battle. And I f can't think of anyone better than you. So what do you say? How do I know that you're telling me the truth? Oh, well, I suppose it's possible that I found a dozen bandits who were willing to give their lives to give passing stranger false impression of life in old showers. Well, I guess you can't really know if my word is good, but I reckon you've learned by now that my money is good. And there's another hundred dinars, or maybe a bit more that's waiting for you if you do this last little favor from... 
that last favor. So what do you say? All right, I'll lead your men. I'm sorry, this is too much, too fast. I need time to think. Well, let's just do it. I'm not waiting. Splendid. It's been a long time since I staked so much on a single throw of the dice. And frankly, I'd find it exhilarating. My men are ready to move on your word. Are you ready? Not now. I'll need to rest before I can fight again. Yes, give, give them the sign. Good now. Strike hard, strike fast. And the captain and his henchmen won't know what hit them. May the heavens be with you. All right, you leave the tavern and go to the streets. Nervous-looking young men are waiting in every street corner. You can see they have daggers and clubs concealed under their clothes and catch a mixture of fear, anticipation, and pride in the quick looks they throw at you as you pass by praying that your enemies have not been alarmed. By this all too obvious bunch of plotters, you check your weapons for one last time and prepare yourselves for the action ahead. Alright, I don't want my bow, I'm going to use my axe, right? All the villagers are on my side. It's time lads, open at him! Oh shoot, I didn't see him, he just got right there. Right. Get him, get him! All the villagers are with me. Kill him! Kill him! And that sound, it means I just leveled up. Hmm, they got him. Get him, man! Oh, we lost the lady. I just hit him. God, those people are hitting with fists. And they've got weapons. Oh, and now he's throwing poo. Down. The remaining few bandits scattered off to this to the town's narrow alleys, only to be hunted down, one by one by the angry townsfolk, making sure that your victory is complete and all the wounded have been taken care of. You. And the merchant head to his house to review the day's events. Alright, speak to the merchant. There you go, 200 dinars. And my relation with Shiraz has improved. Good. Shiraz is the city I'm in, so... Places will accept you more if you've got a high reputation. Stuff like that. So that's by doing quests and helping the poor. And anything, 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 any good actions will help your reputation. Any bad actions, like trying to capture the city, that'll go against you. And they'll want your head for it. But right now, I'm a, I'm a peacekeeper. Okay. Ah, well done. I saw at least three of the enemy go down before you. Keep fighting like that, and you'll make quite a name for yourself in this land. Unfortunately, about eight of my lads got themselves wounded. I should go look on them. Let every villain learn to fear the name Georgie Melissa. <laughs> uh, the heavens alone will grant us victory. I'm glad to see that you're alive too. Well, let's just say the top one. Let every villain learn to fear the name Georgie Melissa. Yes, yes. Now a couple of my boys have the watch captain pinned down in the back in a back room with a knife at his throat. I'll need to go drag him before Sultan Harkim and explain what this breach of the peace is all about. You don't need to be part of that, though I'll tell you what. If all goes well, I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly and let you know how it all came out. If you don't see me in the tavern but instead see my head on a spike over the city gate, I'll assume you know enough to stay out of town for a while and forget this whole episode ever happened. So hopefully we'll meet again. Alright, see you later dude. Bye. Right, let me just go to the market to sell, sell what I've got. Right, let's sell this clothing. 
Hmm, I could sell these furs for 355 each. Or I'll just keep hold of them. Anyway, look, I'm making money now because all this stuff from the bandits I got 135 there, I'll be getting. I've still got plenty of food. Hardly been eaten. Right, there you go. 135 is mine. Um, let's go to the castle, see if anyone's here. Nope, nobody's home. Uh, let's leave. Right, so that's the tutorial mission finished. And then from now on, you can do what you want build up your army. Do quests for lords and ladies, uh, and get married. I've never hit the marriage part as a lady in this game, so yeah, that that'll be new. I've I've completely been married as a male character, but as a woman, I've never done it before. See, I don't know how to appeal to the male lords of the realm, and who would I even pick? Who would Melissa pick? Or oh, Georgie. Georgie Mes Melissa. Right, I can stay in the desert with all these places, check if anyone's got any work. Keep recruiting. But if, if you recruit too much, your, your funds are gonna be dried up so fast. But if you keep... Oh, I'm on 20 now. Oh, there you go, look. Wages for Georgie Melissa's party. It's a weekly budget, okay. You have to pay weekly. Uh, so I've only lost 19. Yeah, but if, if I had upgraded troops, if, if I had my current men upgraded, like, stronger, they'd demand more money. But because they're only, like, the recruits, yeah, 19's nothing. Okay, my new wealth is down to 486 dinars. So I have a small purse right now. Actually, let me just check the party screen. Oh yeah, I, I leveled up. That plus arrow, that plus sim symbol next to your name means you've leveled up. Or the troops have leveled up, so you can turn them into spearmen or crossbowmen. I'll turn them into crossbowmen. So that's four, four of them. So the, the new unit, which you've just trained, goes to the bottom of the thing. But if you want to remove m move the formation in the army, so, so from the top to bottom, the the ones the the units that are at the top will be in your army first. So, like if I had horsemen at the top and archers at the bottom, the horsemen will be used first. If you get what I mean. So I'm going to use the archers first. So whatever order you've got all this in, um, that's your unit order. Because if you've got an army of 50 people, they're not all going to be in the world at the same time unless you have some casualties. So whatever is at the top of the party list will be summoned first. Okay, look at all this. I got 18,000 recruits. They only cost one, one dinar each week. So, yeah, but they're very weak. That's why, that's why they're so cheap. I'll just keep going from village to village until I make it to the hub city down there, Joe Cuba. I really should save because if I'm attacked by bandits and I lose, I'll, I'll be taken prisoner and I'll lose all my money. So that's why you're always best saving sometimes. But I oh, there's some there's a little battle over here. Village farmers first losers. Let's go and help. You come across a battle between looters and village farmers. You decide to rush to the aid. Let's 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 help. You are helping the village farmers against the looters. You have thirty-five troops fit for a battle against twenty enemies. But the enemy's been trained. My people, they're pretty weak. Right, everyone, hold this position. I'm gonna have them hold this position. So there's a little army there. I'm gonna scout ahead. Oh, there they are. I'll see if I can shoot them with my bow. See if I can reduce their numbers. They have 20 men, remember. My people are holding the ground. I'll see if I can take any out. Right. Oh, damn. I'm a terrible shot. 
Oh man. Even my archers are trying to get them. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> See, if I leveled up, up in archery, I'd be better at this. Oh man. I can't even get any. Right, I'm gonna have to charge. Right, inventory, charge. Right, we're all gonna charge now. This is it. All the peasants. There you go, I got one. Ooh, that was a good one. Got him. There you go. Right, I've lost a man. I've lost someone. Ooh. There you go. You just gotta watch out on your health. Your health doesn't regenerate whilst you're in battle, just so you know. If you're new to the game, you, your health isn't regenerating. It heals after battle. Just so you know, between battles it'll heal. So, once that bar's gone, you're dead. So, you're best sending in your inventory to do most battles. But if, if you can take them on like this, there you go, there's one. Oh, come on. Gosh, you constantly keep running away. There you go, I got him. Ha, <laughs> finally. And um, when you hear your people cheering, that means victory. There you go. Lords and ladies of the realm, we have won. Victory! Victory! <laughs> there you go. Your party gains one morale, so the more win uh, victories you have and less casualties, um, you know, everyone gets happier. So, my casualties, my personal army, no casualties. My ally casualties, because they were the farmers that were being attacked. They only lost one lady. Uh, now the enemy casualties, they lost 18 people and two wounded. The wounded ones you can take as prisoner and sell them. But, alright, and now here's the farmer letting me know. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Ma madam. Things didn't look very well for us, but then you came and everything changed. See, if I wasn't there, they would have died. So, I've just saved them. Now I could capture them, but if I had the prisoner skill. But I haven't put anything into that right now. And look at this. Eight men are ready to be upgraded. So Saracen footmen. So from that 20, we'll go to eight. And there you go, the footmen are there. Now, you can put it in the order. Like strongest, strongest to lowest you can. If you want. Because the footmen here... Well, actually, the recruits will turn into footmen. The footmen will turn into veterans, so on and so. So you're best putting the low-level ones. You're best putting it in order of rank as they level up. Oh, I forgot to level up my own character as well. Yeah, that's, that's what you should do. Anyway, there you go. I've just got all that loot. Now I can sell that off when I get to a city. And I got an extra 63 dinars for taking down bandits. So you can get money getting down bandits. Bandits are always going to be in the game. No matter how many you kill, there's always going to be bandits. So that's one way to make money. And peacefully, it will improve your reputation between uh, the realm. So if, you, if your reputation's doing a little bit bad, kill bandits. And everybody will appreciate that. Because bandits are everyone's enemies. Yeah. So it's seen as a good thing to wipe out bandits. Yep. And as you can see, in the bottom left, there's like text coming up. That That's just like the events of the world. So you can actually read all that uh, recent messages. Yeah, so if, if you want to follow everything that's going on in the world, everything, just go on this tab, recent messages. So y'all off. Kingdom of the Nords was defeated in battle but managed to escape. Jarl Gundar, Kingdom of the Nords was defeated in battle but managed to escape. And if you want to read about the factions, all these, it will tell you the leaders. So King Ragnar, see, he's the leader of the Nords, which I know very well. Sanjar Khan, he is the leader of the Kedrit Kanetti. Rodex King Gareth, Swagnir King Haus, King Yagolet. And Sultan Hakim. Wait, hold on. Wait, which one am I in right now? Which, which 
which faction am I in right now? The yellow faction. Um, I think it's this one. Sarazad sold me. So Sultan Hakim is the leader of the realm I'm in right now. Uh, and now you can read all this stuff. So it, it, it's a bit of backstory if you want everything. So the Saracen Soul Knight has no outstanding issues with the Kingdom of Swagnir. The Saracen is at war with the Kingdom of the Rodex. So you can see who's at war, who's not at war. So you can use that to your advantage if you've got a high, bigger army. If one... Yeah. So yeah. If, if you gain a lot of reputation... Um, you can become a, merchant, a mercenary for an army. Or then, after mercenary, um, you can, yeah, you can become a vassal, which, which is another word for, like, a bannerman. So, you, you have to swear your allegiance to, um, whoever's in charge. If you swear your allegiance, then you, you have right to land and stuff like that, but... I've, I've, I've always wanted to own my own land, not have to do it through a faction, but I've never had the chance yet. Anyway, let's go to the tavern, let's see this one, see if there's anyone in here. See, see there's mercenary horsemen here, they'd be very expensive, to be like a thousand coins, but, you know, they're, they're, these are will be already, already trained people, but if you go to villages, you have to train them yourself. From recruit to anything, recruit to hire. Uh, but this place, like taverns, they already have made, uh, they already have set ranks in the places. So you won't need to do much training. Look at this. Do you need. I'm not going to buy them, but I'll just do an example. Do you have a need for mercenaries, madame? Me and six of my mates are looking for a master. We'll join you for 18... Oh, 1,862 dinars. <laughs> See, I, I only have enough to hire one of them right now. One out of six. But, yeah. If you keep going around each tavern in every different place, there's, there's always different classes of unit you can hire, so horses, archers, so veteran soldiers, stuff like that, and even companions, uh, people that can join you and stay with you for as long as you need them. Yeah, so actual companions, uh, it, it's a bit like Skyrim really, um, like, if you've ever played Skyrim, there's companions in Skyrim and they don't die. Um, same in this game. They ow. They they don't die if they they just go. They just get wounded and you can heal. Yeah. Sorry, I just I just cut myself on the side of my chair. <laughs> Strangest things. I'm playing a war game and I, I get hit. Get scratched by my chair. Ugh, dang. Right. Let's go to the castle. There's always somebody to chat to. Sometimes, and you can get you, you can get jobs, Lady Raymer. I say, you don't look familiar. I'm Georgie Melissa. My name is Georgie Melissa. At your service, Georgie Melissa. I do not believe I've heard of you before. Can I help you with anything? So, the ladies of the court, they're not really useful to me right now, right now because I'm I'm a lady, a fem female character. Females don't date female characters, so... Yeah, but if you were a male character, you could confess your love to them. If they were single, and they didn't have any... Uh, any husband or anything like that. Yeah, you could. But because I'm a lady character, it would have to be the males that you'd, I'd have to speak to. Right. It's just the same stuff. At your service. Give them names. They don't know who I am. Yeah. Hmm. Right, and you can ask for tasks. Right, do you have any tasks? I need to send a letter to Emir Eberson, who should currently be at Amarad. If you will be heading towards there, I'll deliver. deliver. All he wants is me to deliver a message to him. I could refuse or accept it but 
yeah, I'm going to accept it. This is this is how you get reputation. See, right now, Amir Uka is... See, his name is too difficult. Um, his relation is zero. If I did this task for him, it would go up. So, remember I was saying earlier on in the stream... Um, uh, good deeds will improve your reputation. Higher reputation will give you authority in, in certain instances. So, like, for example, I've done this before on my main game. Uh, I was at war with a certain army. I had a high reputation with one of the people who was coming after me. I was outnumbered by the enemy. Because I had like a reputation of 20 with the person who was trying to capture me. I said, let me go, please. Like that. And he said, because, because of your high honor and stuff. But could, yeah, he basically let me go. He let me free. He, 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 he could have, say if I, was a, if I was being chased by somebody who I had no reputation with, he'd fight me to the death. But because I had a high reputation with this guy... He said, I'll let you go just this time. Um, but because cause he let me go, the reputation went down by five or six. So from 20 minus six on it. So I was down to 15 slash 16, someone around there. All right, I'll deliver this message and look. Um, oh, wait. When I complete the task, I'll get, I'll get it done. I appreciate it. Here's the letter, small sum to cover you. He only pays me 30 for delivering messages. Mm -hmm. You don't get a lot for doing message deliveries, but... Anyway, I've just got to go to Amarad and... Then my reputation will be boosted. All right, where's Amarad? Oh, that's all the way here. I only got paid 30 just to go there. Anyway, let's go. I've got to find the guy. And if you if you forget the name of the guy you're meant to find, you can always go to the notes page. Wait, right, who's this? Well, you can... Just keep an eye out because they'll always be on the road. Sometimes they don't stay in one spot. Amarad. Here we go. Oh, and there's a tournament. Tournaments are great ways to make money. Tournaments is like you're in an arena, like a gladiator's arena. And if you're the last one standing, you get money. Plus, you can also place bets on yourself. And if you win you win all that money and it's duplicated and stuff like if you're 100 to 1 imagine the money you'll make um but oh there's a feast right hold on let me just check the name of this lord i've got to see and i'm gonna save and i'll do the tournament as I'll, I'll show you how easy it is to make money but you've got to have some money in, in your pocket already to be able to bet on yourself you need a minimum of a thousand if you're gonna get the highest bet on you, but I've only got like 400 or something. But I'll just bet what I've got. But I, yeah, yeah, let me just save. Right, day four. It's a good way to make money. And in every capital city, the ones with the bigger writing, um, you can go to the arenas of those cities. Even though there's not an event on, you can ask the arena pe people. Um, is the tournament nearby and they'll just tell you where it is where it's taking place and you can go there and you can make money so that's a, that's another way to make money so prisoners capturing looters bandits stuff like that selling them off uh, arenas making money in the arena placing bets on yourself um, doing missions for lords or even capturing towns and stuff yeah but that's when you've got a big army and that's when you... Right, yeah. Oh, I can't join the feast. Yeah, you are not sufficient status. Invited inside you. Oh, okay. I won't be able to speak to the person then. Okay, never mind. Uh, place a bet on self. Okay, you are at tier one of the tournament. With 64 participants remaining in the next round. You will be... Oh, there will be three teams with seven fighters each. Okay, so you can... The odds against me are 13 to 1. If I place 100 on me, I should get like 1,300. Yeah, yeah, look, it even tells you how much 
you'll win if you win this one. If you bet 100 dinars, you will earn 1,300 dinars if you win the tournament. Is that alright? Yes. So it'll tell you how much you're entitled to win. Right. See, as you can see, mine's the red team. Everybody in red is on my side, and the others are like me enemies. Well, the teams I've got to beat. It's like a free for all, but you've got a team work together with your team. There you go. That that's one out. Well, that I got. Oh, my person's getting knocked down there. Right, I'm gonna need need to help. Ooh. My people are losing the horses. There you go, I got got some help there. Oh, he's getting me. Oh, ow. Damn, my people are getting taken out. I think I'm on my own. Against the greens. Oh, I've got one person left, but they're not gonna last. Oh, wait, you just. Yeah, I've got one red with me and two horses chasing me. Oh, no, he's gonna get slaughtered. Oh, he's down. Oh! Oh, I got their horse. Oh, oh! See, I've got no shield, so. I'm at risk! And I'm. Oh damn, my horse is gonna get killed, and I'm I'm almost dead as well. Dang. Oh, there you go. If they lose the horses, then I have a good chance. But against shields, I'm in no condition. There you go. Poor horses, but it's the only way I can try and win. Right, I'm gonna have to come off me horse. I'm gonna have to face them hand to hand, stupid horse! Blocking my way. Ah! Oh, shoot. I'm being team. Oh, good, good, good. One left, one left. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, shoot! Yes! That was close. Last one standing. Oh, okay, place a bet on myself again. Let's win a thousand. Altogether, the most you can win is up to four thousand. That's if you do the highest bet on every round. But I'm gonna run out of money soon enough. But anyway, I'll just try and do it. Oh shoot, I've got spears. Right, spears are awful. You have a, I only have 47 shots. Oh dang. And I don't have a, a, a secondary weapon, so once I've run, when I run out of spears, I'm done for. Ah! I'm being chased! Right, I can't. I can't. I can't outrun this fool! Right, I'm the green. And uh, my people are right with me, trying to help. Good, good, get him, get him, get him. Oh, well done, well done, men. Right. There's three of us on horses here. Let's team up. Now, you can do this in online mode. Ah! Get him, get him. Go on, men. I, I wish I had a sword and a shield. Sword and shields are so much better, but they have them. My teammates do. Oh, we just lost a horse. Looks like my team's gonna win this time. Yeah, it's last team standing, basically. Oh, good, good, good. Gun, gun. Well done. Is that it? Yes! My team won. And I'm still in. Right. I just keep putting the highest bet on myself. Oh. Okay. Oh, shoot! I wasn't expecting that guy to come out of nowhere. Right. right. I'm on my own this time. It's one member from each team. 
I'm in the yellow team right now. Actually, let me get him. He's on his own. And he's got a shield, so... He's pretty strong. Actually, he's got, only got spears. So he has to throw his weapon. I'm being chased from behind. Oh my gosh. They're so gonna kill me. Ah! I'm gonna f get thrown at. They're constantly chasing me. Ah! Oh! I hate horse riding, it's so difficult sometimes. Right, I'll get them now, they're all blocked in. Oh! Ow! God, I'm the only one left on horse! Let them kill each other. Okay, 1v1. Right, let me get off. That's the time you dismount, when it's only one person the first one. 1v1, that's the best chance you've got. Oh, oh, one hit. Well done, Georgie. Or oh, Georgia. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, let's keep going. Come on, man. Yellow first green. Oh, they got lances. Lances are pretty strong, but they, they take time to reload. So, that's your best chance. Right, let's get them all off the horses for at least. Ow! Oh, right from behind. You stabbed me in my back. How dare you. Right, let me... Let me just take you out. To dinner. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> Let's mount up again. Ah, yeah, we've got them outnumbered. Three, first one. There we go, got him. <coughs> A few participants fall left. Right, I've only got enough to spend 50 now. 100's the maximum bet for each round. I've had to spend 50 now. Oh no, I, I hate the lances though. Oh, I got him though. That was nice. Right, two versus two. Ow! If I put more skill points into riding, I'd have better riding skill. Faster. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Oh no, they're both after me. My guy must have got knocked out. Damn. Right. Well, because they don't have shields, I have an advantage. Because if they had shields, they could block my attack. So all I've got to do is be accurate. Oof, this is a tournament, this one. Oh, I got, I got the horse. If I can knock out the horse, then... I'll just take out the, the rider. That was beautiful. Just like me. Good thing is I've got I've got ah no 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 I've got I've got distance. I've got the distance advantage. Because I can let them come to me and then I'll get them! Oh zero damage. That was awful. No! I had to go right through the middle, didn't I? Good, 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 good. Paul's arm up to 16 now. Improve. That's one of the skills you can also improve. Oh my gosh, she's right on me tail. I'm gonna have to get out of here. I'm gonna have to try and distract them, take them to the wall, and then give them the ram scoop. Yep, yeah, there you go. That's one way to s cause them off. Throw them off balance! Oh, that was a beautiful strike. Look at that. Oh, poor horse. Don't worry. They keep coming back. Oof, dang. 
Right, I've got to get this other rider. Right, I'm going to have to throw him off my scent. I'm going to give him the ram scoop. And now! Okay, one more hit should do it. Maybe. Uh, he's out of range. Ready, ram scoop. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Best get him. Dang, this is a super toughy. Ay. These arena battles do take a while, if you want to win. Yeah. If you want to lose, you can lose in about 20 seconds easily. But if you play it safe like I'm doing, you eventually will knock them out. There you go, there's the horse. Come on. Oh! Right, I got him when he's striking. Nope. Ow! That hurt, Charlie. That really hurt. See, when they block, I can't really do much about it, but when they attack, I can get them. If I, if I time it right. Oh, good, good, good. Alright, when he's like that, I can get him. But, because he's going to strike, though. If, if I miss, he gets me. <laughs> yes, 14 damage. There you go. Woo! It's not over yet. There's another round left. 10 dinars, right? Let's go. Let's get. Oh, spears. Oh, I hate spears. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, baby, baby. Do, 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 do. Ow! Do do tell me out of you ah tell me I know do 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 yes that's it stay there stay there stay there my dude there you go um one for the ground. I win. Okay, you won the tournament of Amarad. You have filled with pride as the crowd cheers your name. In addition to honor, fame, and glory, you earn a prize of 200 dinars. Moreover, you earn 3,668 dinars from the clever bets you placed on yourself. You are also invited to attend the ongoing Feast in the Castle. See, because I've just gained some reputation from winning the tournament, the first lady to win the tournament, I can now join the feast with the people of the court. Right, let's see if that guy is in here that I can give the message to. My name is Georgie Middle, sir, at your service. Mm-hmm. Right, I bring a message from Emir so-and-so. See? Now my reputation's gone up from 0 to 2, from 2 to 3. There you go. Oh, let me see that. Well, well, well. It was good to you to bring me this letter. They wouldn't let me in at first. So I had to win a tournament. Then they know me. Okay, do you have any tasks? There's something you can do for us. We have heard reports of a group of desert bandits have established a hideout in this area. I've been attacking travellers. If you could find an area and destroy it, we would be very grateful. Aye, let's do it. So, yeah. You must be George and Melissa. We have... Wait, we have just had the honour of watching you distinguish yourself in the recent tournament. Ah, see? She was watching. She was watching the tournament, see? Reputation. It's that easy. All you got to do is go in an arena tournament in each city. Then they'll all know you. And then they'll give you better jobs. Uh, may I have the honour of knowing more about you, my lady? I am daughter to Emir Hazan, sister to Emir Hiwan, daughter to Lady Solha. So, she's single, basically. That's what she's saying. Because she didn't say anything about husband or anything like that. But I cannot go anywhere near her because she is a woman and they don't do lesbians in this time. 
<laughs> Medieval lesbians. <laughs> Do I know you? My name is Georgie Bridges, sir, at your service. I am Lithwin Farseeker, son of Harkin the Old, who should be king of the Nords of Caldera. I thought Kingdom of the Nords was ruled by King Ragnar. I am called the Farseeker because I have travelled great distances, even by my standards the Nords in search of knowledge before I came of age. My father sent me abroad on, tour, on a tour of study at the courts and universities in the lands overseas. If the Nords are to call themselves heirs of the Caladian Empire, then they must act the part and know something of law and letters, and not all themselves content merely to fight, plunder and drink. My father died, however, before I completed my course of study. And as I hurried home to claim his throne, my ship was wrecked by a storm. One of my father's thanes, Ragnar, seized this opportunity and spread rumours that I had died abroad. Yeah, abroad. Well, it says abroad. Abroad. Ab ab abroad. Well, abroad. Yeah. He summoned a gathering of his supporters to have himself proclaimed king and has taken the past few years to consolidate his power. So I remain in exile, except now I'm looking for sages to tutor me in wisdom of faraway lands, but warriors to come with me back to the land of the Nords and regain my throne. If Ragnar doubts my ability to rule, then let him. So say face to face as we stare at each other, over the rims of our shields for a warrior can be a scholar and scholar a warrior and to mind only one who combines the two is fit to be king i want to take up your cause and help you reclaim your throne i must leave now yeah goodbye <laughs> so basically you might find the odd person like him in different castles and stuff so he's he's a nord of he's a nord at birth and he believes he's the king. He should be the king of the Nords. But because Ragnar took his throne from him, like an usurper, as they called him in olden olden days, yeah, he want he wants help to take his throne back. So that's where you can come in and give him a hand. That's if you really want to start a war with <laughs> the Nords, and they'll all be your enemies. Uh, anyway, I've got enough money now. Look at that, 3,877 coin. I could have got like 4,000, but I didn't have enough money on me at the time. But now, if I go to another tournament, I have enough to... Yeah. I have enough to buy in and get the highest amount from it. High blades, they're the best mercenary swordsmen. At the highest level they can be, anyway. Uh, market point. No, I've already done all that. I don't need. I haven't got anything to sell anyway. Anyway, so there you go. There's the. There's a tournament for you. Uh, have I leveled up yet? No, I still haven't leveled up. Well, I mean, I haven't used my points yet. I've leveled up twice, and I haven't even done anything. I could get that to level ten. And let me just tell you this: if you put a point into intelligence you get two uh, points you can put in the middle it's the only skill that will give you two points uh, that you can spend two ex well one extra point each time you level it up so as you can see I've got four skill points to use now and it's the only skill that can give you two skill points rather than just one so that's why on my main game I had like over 25 on it so I could like pretty much peek everything out. Uh, right, first date would be helpful. Uh, riding, yes, uh, I think I'm, I'm going to have to put horse riding in. Just because in the arena I was going pretty slow when I should have been quicker. Right, I'll just put three on it. I have two left. Let me put put it into training which means my infantry my troops the people in my party 
will level up quicker. And training means I, I train them in lots of combat and they'll get experience every so often. Right, so I'm currently using a two-handed weapon, aren't I? So you can improve all this as well. Uh, archery, let's get archery up then. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get it up. 93. You can change your name, but I'd rather not. I've never done that. So you can see his stats. Uh, number of troops killed, 16. Number of troops wounded, 11. Number of friendly troops killed, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You don't really need to know any of that detail. It won't make any difference to the game. But if you want to read into the archives, then yes. You can read it all. Alright, let's actually go up to here. Bar. Bah, 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 bah. Oh wait, hold on. No, no, I forgot. There's a, there's a mission I, I just accepted in this area. Destroy bandit layer. Uh, find destroy desert bandit layer and report back to NBA hazard. So there's a bandit layer in this area somewhere. I have about 60 days to complete it. If I don't, the mission fails. So yeah. I'm just gonna go here first. See if there's anything I can do. Castle. Yeah, it's just a lady of the court. Ladies don't give you option. Um, they don't give you missions. Ransom broker. Ah, the ransom brokers. Let me just tell you, the ransom brokers are the people that you can sell prisoners to. So if I had any prisoners, these are the people in taverns which you can sell your prisoners. You pretty much get, for, depending on what level, what class of, um, depending on what class of person you capture. So, say if it was like a, one of the looters, you'd probably get 50 to 100 tops per, per man. So, yeah. And now, wondering, Mr. Ells, do you, these people can teach you poems and stuff. Say if you were wanting to court a lady of the court, well, win an appeal, stuff like that. These people can teach you poems and stuff, love stories, things, yeah. Chance to get married, and now these two, I don't believe it. These two are in my main game, and they're both in the same tavern. These two people are companions which can join you. Right, Karen, Ka Karen, what's the occasion? Why, I managed to sell my wagon and pots and last for once I've got money to spend, and I intend to make the best of it. For 30 years I followed the armies of this land, selling them vis victuals and drink, watching their games of dice and finding them girls, and <laughs> nary a denar was left in my purse. It's no kind of life. Say even these words, thick tooling the armies. You earn a bit here and a bit there. As soldiers spend their money, and then along comes one defeat, and you have to start over. I'm debting yourself to buy a new wagon and new oxen. So I've decided to get out of the business, but army life is all I know. What will you do now? Why, I'll be a soldier myself. Help my old hands to a bit of loot, comfort, and retirement. Two boys I bore, both soldier brats, and they became soldiers themselves. Once had <laughs> his head split on... Oh, wait, sorry, I thought that was a joke. Uh, one had his head split on a Kergit war club. The other died of pox, but at least they didn't die hungry. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh then. I thought I thought he had his head up an ox. That I thought that's what she was saying. Now that does sound funny. <laughs> she had his head in an ox's bum. <laughs> but that's 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 just how I read it first, and then I read it, and he had his head hit with a club, which isn't funny at all. Oh dear. <laughs> I know how to swing a blade. Such so, so, look at that word. That is not proper English. That is what you call English, not English. Uh, English is something that's not, that's made to be English, but it's not spelt very good, so it's English. Uh, Stunch a wound, <laughs> stunch a wound, and feed an army on March, it would be 
a foolish captain who passed up on the opportunity to hire an experienced campaigner like me. Say, lassie, don't you command a war party on of your own now? It sounds like you're you'll be useful. You're hired. Sorry, sorry, madam. We already got as many in our company as we can handle. All right. Okay, I've I've accepted the offer. Hey, thank you, Captain. But before joining up with you, I would ask for a payment of a hundred dinars. I know that in war parties, soldiers can go on for weeks without seeing any wages. I am wise enough not to sign anywhere without having myself covered. Very well, here's a hundred dinars. Make yourself ready. We will leave soon. There you go. Good, give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. There you go, she's joined my party. So, yeah, and I'm going to recruit Yamira. I'll just read out what she's going to say. <laughs> Good day to you. Hello. What a clearly, uh, clearly well brought up young lady like you doing in a place like this? A good question. I shall tell you. My story is going to last three hours later. No! Okay, let's carry on. My father, a well-known merchant here in Bali, decided that I should be married to one of his business partners, a man well past my age of 30. Dang! She got a pimp. Uh, I have been an obedient daughter all my life, but it was ridiculous and horrid pr proposition, so I ran away. Uh -huh. I shall marry whom I want, when I want, moreover regardless of what my father might think. I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. I was thinking that I should perhaps join a band of gypsies. <laughs> or perhaps a troop of mercenaries. Yeah, you definitely join mercenaries. <laughs> you don't want to become a traitor. Uh, well, as it happens, I run a company of mercenaries. And now look, look what I can say. Go back to your family, lass. Fathers must always be obeyed. <laughs> <laughs> you can really upset her or um, let her join. All right, join me. Do you? Well, I'm in no position to be picky. I would be pleased to join you. I think you would find I would be most valuable, valuable addition to your ranks. I am well versed in the classics of literature and can declaim several of epic poems of my people. I play loot, and I am skilled manager of household servants. Hmm, that's a start. We can teach you the rest. Actually, we're looking for a slightly different skill set. Right, join. Look, she doesn't even need money. She just wants to join openly. The last one, hundred dollars, not dollars, uh, hundred dinars. Uh, good. Give me a few moments to prepare. I'll be ready to move. There we go. Two ladies. Now, who's this? Oh, the tavern keeper. I thought that was another companion then. Uh, this guy. Oh, farmer. Hey, what is the good... Uh, okay. Ma'am. Madame. You look like a lady of the sword and someone who could help us. Will you hear my plea? What is it, my good man? A band of brigands have taken refuge in our village. They have taken... Oh, they take everything we have, force us to serve them, and do as much evil. If one of us so much as breathes a word of protest, they kill the poor soul on the spot right away. Our lives have become unbearable. I risked my skin and ran away to find someone to help us. Why don't you go to the lord of your village? He should take care of the famine. I did, ma'am, ma madame. But our, f our lord's man did not let me see him and said he was occupied with more important matters and that he should deal with our own problem ourselves. Please, madame. You look like a lady of valor and a fearsome warrior. And you have no doubt many friends and soldiers at your service. 
If there is anyone who can help us, it's you. Very well, I'll help you with the village. I can't be bothered with this right now. Why would I fight these bandits? What's in it for me? Right, okay, very well, where's this village? Okay, God bless you, madam. Our village is Fishada. It is not too far from here. So basically, his village has been overrun with bandits. If the people don't do what the bandits say, the people get killed. And now I'm going in to save the day. Save the day. Save the day. Na na na. Gonna save the day. Hey hey hey. Right, how much food have I got left? 32 out of 50. 50 out of 50. 36 out of 50. And higher furs. Ooh, ooh. 367 I can make here. That's the most I've seen. Go on, let's make the money from the furs. Hey, it must be nefarious. <laughs> Nefarious? See, get it? Furs? Furious? Nah, okay. You'll get in about 20 years when you've had kids. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, they sell it for 406. I only got... F oh man! Okay, well, I got right 360 for them. It's okay. It's okay. I still make money. Money, money, money! Right, let's find this town. This fishy, fishara, fishara place? Hmm? Fisher, oh, it's right there. Okay. Let's help this man. Okay, I only have 28 troops, so I'm just gonna save just in case we fail. Just in case we fail. Um, yeah. It's always good to do a duplicate save. Just so you can cover yourself from any casualties and any losses whatsoever. I'd hate to die in battle and lose everything, because if I died in battle, you get taken prisoners by the raiders until you escape. That's that's I have I have had my days of capture, so I do I am I am experienced. But from now on, I have never been captured because I used this save trick. But because I didn't know there was a way you can avoid being captured by going back on your saves, I did get. Captured or okay. The village of Fishara seems to be flourishing. The palm groves and orchards are humming with activity. Farmers call to each other peaceful oh cheerfully. From the tops of the trees where they pollinate the date fruit, the creak of wooden pumps, the bowing of draft animals, and the rush of flowing water. Speak of an irrigation system. That is thriving under the villagers' attention. You remember that this village and its surrounding lands belong to Emir Ayam of Saradnid Salute. The village is infested by 15 bandits. The populace is indifferent to you. Brackets, zero. <laughs> so there's 15 bandits which are taking over the place. Let's get them, boys! Right. Here the oh, they're on horses. Right. Get them! Oh, I missed. He had his shield up. Right. Get Ow! You bandit! I'm gonna kill you for doing this. Help me, help me. Hey, there's Captain! The girl I recruited. Oh, we got him. Well done, well done, my dear. Oh dear, I'm losing some farmers. The farmers are on my side because they're they're trying to liberate their town. There's Ymir. She's taking them on. Right, let me get him. Excellent. Oh, what a slash. Right in his head. Oh, he's down. Oh no, I'm losing some people. No, you don't. And again. Oh, oops, sorry. Yes. You throw your pebbles, you throw your stones, you throw your rocky poos. Get them, get them! Victory! We have victory! Look at this, we won! Okay, what's my casualties? Okay, wound, wounded are fine, I don't have to count the wounded because they'll, they'll heal. Ymir got wounded. <laughs> oh no. I got, I lost one Saracen footman and one, oh. Okay, just one Saracen footman. 
One killed, four wounded, okay. We've just lost one footman. Don't worry, I'll be able to get some more recruits. Okay, allies, which are the farmers which inhabit the town. Two killed, four wounded. Dang. Okay. Enemy casualties, yeah. Twelve killed, three wounded. Okay, now. In a battle worthy of song, you and your men drive the bandits out of the village, making it safe once more. The villagers have little left in the way of wealth after their ordeal, but they offer you all they can find. Take it, so I can either take it or let them let them keep it. But if if you take it, then it's do it. You're all square. But if you let them keep what they've got. You gain reputation for that city. Well, not not city, for that village on it. Just the village that you've just saved. Nowhere else, just the village. So they'll like you more. They'll expect uh, respect you more the next time you're in, and they'll do you better deals if you're trading with them. I guess. Uh, refuse stating that they need items more than you do. So I'm gonna do that one, and it says I've just gained honor. So now you can see, this place was on zero. Um, it's I don't own it or anything, but the populace is acceptive of you, which is in brackets eight. Remember, it was zero. Now it's eight because I've helped them out, and because it's eight, more of them will be willing to join my army. So eight of them are gonna be recruited. So if you want to be evil, you can take a hostile hostile at action. See that there's an even there's an option there for villages and stuff. But because it's if I, if I did that, Emir Ayama um, would the, the, who's who's rightfully owning the place right now. Uh, he, he's the lord of this land. If I done that, I'd make an enemy of him because I've I've just attacked his villages and stuff. But I've just saved him. So right now we're ally, well friends, and this is all they have. Linen, they have linen. Uh, well, it isn't John Lennon, but it is Lennon. Uh, <laughs> anybody get that joke? John Lennon? John Lennon? Hmm? Yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty good with jokes. Nah. Uh, okay, Ymir, I'm going to put you up to the top. I'm going to make you my general. Well, remember I said people at the top um, uh, go into combat first. Well, I'm, I'm going to need them first. The good thing about companions, one thing let me let you know. The companions... Uh, oh, 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 what did I just click on? Uh, did I just make a tribe? I don't know what I clicked on then. Um, companions can never die. They only get wounded. So, yeah. So even if I had a whole... like, like this, this world is full of companions, but some of them disagree with each other, so they can't work with each other so yeah the, there are some characters which don't tie together but these two uh, in my main game these two are fine these two are friends they like each other but yeah there's some people that don't aren't compatible compatible with each other so say if you like one you got to get rid of one in, in in the end because they'll have a disagreement and they'll hate working with each other but Catelyn and Ymir yeah, Ymir's pretty friendly with every, with anyone. Uh, Catelyn, she does have some disagreements with some certain so-and-sos, which I don't want to mention right now. Not without spoiling what's going on in the story. Well, there is no story to this game. The story... The st Basically, yeah, yeah, there is no story with this game. It is full free roam. Do what you want, when you want. You can capture, pillage, raid, whatever. The only kind of thing is, that's story related, related is like the quest you get. That's it. That that's that's the thing. I guess there might be a story if you've captured everything, you know, but pff, that would take you years again. Well, if 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 you really cracked on, I guess you could take over the whole world yourself. <laughs> Within about five months. <laughs> That's my best guess. I have... N well, I've never fully attempted it. I've only... If, you, if you're in an alliance already, if you choose one of the factions and help them take over the map, then you can do it in, like, a month, I guess. 
well, in real time, if you were on a month's worth of time, so 24 hours times a month, so maybe, I don't know, how many how many hours is that? 24 hours in a, well, yeah, it's too much, too much maths for this time at night. Let's just game. Forget the water, bring wine! <laughs> this game is kind of just just takes me to Game of Thrones and everything. If you oh wait, there's Asdon. Hello, at your service. I must lay a lady. Do be careful riding about this dangerous land. If you ever wish to seek a more um, settled life, I'm sure I could find you a worthy husband from among my men. <laughs> Oh, look, I could insult him now. I could find a worthier your husband... Husbands than... Those lands in... Those in a kennel. I could find a worthier of your husband, basically, in a kennel. Look, I'm gonna make him an enemy. And minus two. You gain two renown. Oh! I just got in a trophy saying sassy. <laughs> I meant no defense, ma'am. Uh, wait, offense, ma'am. I said I'd find more of a husband in a kennel than your men. <laughs> but I'm minus two on the relation. Oh, if 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 you get, happen to get into the red, it'll attack you without warning, so do be careful. Especially when you insult somebody like I just done. But I did it for the achievement. <laughs> had to win, you have to insult somebody for an achievement. The, there is a platinum trophy for this game. Any of you PlayStation 4 players, there is a platinum Right, what, what's he got here? You probably know that I am the Lord of Village in Uriah. However, it has been months since Uriah has delivered the taxes and rents due to its rightful lord. Apparently, the populace there has grown unruly lately, and I need somebody to go there and remind him. So basically, he wants me to collect tax taxes. Right, let's do it. And now... That's gone from minus two to minus one, so I've gone up. He's happier with me. Welcome news. Yeah, yeah. He wants me to squeeze all the money out of his subjects and give him the monies. Unriot. Oh, no, oh, it's right here. Huh. I was right next to it. That's crazy. Uh, collect taxes. Actually, let's recruit some volunteers whilst I'm here. All right. I'll recruit the people. Before they become an enemies. When you collect taxes for a lord, the places start hating you. So, as the party member with the highest trade skill, Catherin, expects that collecting taxes from here will take one day. Okay, one day of taxes. Pay up, pay up. Now, after doing this, um, you'll, you'll receive a cut of the profits. Like, I'll get a minimum of a thousand, I guess, just for doing this. Look at all the money totaling up. Now, the people are outraged at your demands and decree as nothing more than extortion. They're getting very restless and they may react badly if you keep pressing them. Ignore them! Continue! So, sometimes when you're taking taxes, the people uprise against you and you've got to knock them out. You don't kill them. You only knock them out with sticks and... Um, you gotta like kind of beat them to get the money and it whoa look at all that money you've collected 3,740 dinars in taxes from Unraya Emir Asdun will be expecting you to take the money to him alright and because of my involvement taking taxes my reputation's gone down to minus two in this place it was on zero it's gone down to minus two, but if you do some missions for the place, little quests from the elders. Look, if I go to the, the town, every, every town, every village has a as an elder, which can give you tasks and stuff. Um, because it's late at night, nobody out, nobody's out except for him. He's always outside somewhere. You just gotta find him. Uh, oh, down here. If you find a campfire, that's where he's normally out by. Uh, okay. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Every, every little settlement's got an elder. Village elder. <clears throat> Good day, ma'am. 
and welcome to Unraya. I am elder of this village. So the elders kind of run the villages. See, so you, you can buy supplies, you can ask them for intel, stuff like that. Right, we are suffering greatly at the hands of a group of bandits. They take our food and livestock and kill anyone who doesn't obey them immediately. Our men are angry that we cannot defend ourselves. But we are only simple farmers. However, with some help, I think we... I think that some of our people here can be more than that. We just need an experienced warrior to teach us how to fight. Yeah. Defense against the dark arts, right? Let's let's help. So what I've got to do now is train his villagers, train the peasants. It'll take ten hours um, as our well. I, I'm the highest trainer for this part, for my people. So it'll take 10 hours for me to train the peasants. And we're just training with sticks. So this is how I teach them how to fight. We're training. See, I haven't killed them, I've just knocked them out. It even says in the text on the side. After beating your last opponent, you explain to the peasants how much better to defend themselves against such an attack. Hopefully they'll take the experience on board and will be prepared for the next time. Let's train them. Look, doing this task, training the peasants, they'll have better defense against bandits and stuff. Well, another 10 hours it's going to take though. Doing this will also gain reputation with the place so whilst whilst you're here you're best doing it now oh oh he was close he almost got me see that's how you do it peasant peasants i hate calling people peasants it's not nice all right it's just the same text again i don't need to read it out it's just telling them training them and stuff mm. another 10 hours now, if I had a higher training skill, it would take less time from 10 hours. Maybe 5 or something. I don't know. I've just got to do this until they're ready to defend themselves. Ooh. There you go. <clears throat> and I've upgraded my pole arms as well. Right. Uh, train again. 10 hours, 10 hours per man. It's taken me to train people. So I've, I'm staying in this place, which I've just ridden of tax. I've took all the money. Yeah. And now I'm teaching them how to fight. So the next time I'm back for tax, they'll beat me up. <laughs> Gosh, you could have done with a better hairstyle. Look at that, he's got ponytails. It's a guy. Right, train the peasants again. Right, once I've done this, I'll go and find that lord and tell him I've taken the taxes. And he'll take the money from me. He'll take that 3,000 off me. And he'll give me my percentage. Or, which I've never done this before, take the taxes and then leave the area. That means I keep all the money, but I'd make an enemy one night. So, 3,000 to get me on my way. So, I'd basically be stealing from my ward. If I, if I keep the money for myself. I've never done that. It sounds like a good idea. But, it could be a costly one in the long run. Because, I could make some enemies. Well, a enemy. Uh huh. After beating your opponent, blah blah blah. As you are ready to continue training, a sentry from the village runs to you and shouting... Alorums, the bandits have been spotted on the horizon riding hard for Urina. The elder begs you that you organize your newly trained militia and face them. So, my new trained men, which I've been practicing with, have spotted some bandits, and the bandits have come for their paying. Now, we're going to fight the bandits and push them back. So, oh, hello. Right, let me get to the front. Oh shoot, that was that was awful. I'm not very good horse riding. Get him men. 
right. Peasant knocked out. Peasants are pleasant. Peasant pleasant. A peasant pleasant is a happy person. Pleasant person. I don't know. A pleasant peasant. Nothing's better than a peasant pleasant. A pleasant peasant. Oh my gosh. All the people. Right, let me get out. I'm, I'm gonna have to get off my horse. Charge! Oh no! My girl! Ymir! She's down. Oh, he's shooting me. He's shooting. No, you don't. No, you don't, you porkskin. I just called him a porkskin. What's a porkskin? You porkskin. Yeah, best in the moment insult ever. Porkskin! <laughs> Oh, look at all the blood on my hands. Blood on my hands are bandits. Dang. Who's laughing now? I got a hat. <laughs> we win. Woohoo. Uh, okay, you mean... Okay, three wounded. We're okay. No casualties. Oh my. The peasants lost four people. Dang. Seven were... That is awful. They just lost a lot of people. And there we go. The bandits are broken. Those few who remain run off with their tails between their legs, terrified of the peasants and their new champion, the villagers, little left in the way of wealth after their ordeal. But they offer you all they can find to show their gratitude. I'll refuse and let them keep it. And look at that. My reputation has gone up to eight. Where it was minus two. Because I trained the peasants. Now it's on eight, so they're in a better position. And look, six more want to join me. There we go. They're the ones I just trained and <laughs> they'll have no fight. <gasps> Where's all my food? I've only got one stack of meat left. Right, I, I, see, my army's grown too big. You need food. You constantly need food if you've got an army. And you need to be able to pay wages. I'm on 47 men right now. Um... Oh, where's that guy? Collect taxes. Emir has done. Right, I'll go to here. And then... Is that has done? No. Actually, I'll intercept this guy, see if he knows where has done is. You can ask people where they are. Hey, fancy this. A maiden all equipped for all. Well, it's a strange sight, but in your case, I can imagine that it might grow on me. If you're disturbed by the sight of me, I'd be pleased to put you out your put out your eyes. <laughs> I meant no offense, man. I gained two renown, so I've gone to minus five of them. Hmm. Alright, I want to ask you something. Want to learn the location of someone? Where's Asdon? 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 Right, Amir Asdon is on the field at the moment. Should be close to Haba. 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 So he's by Haba. Right, where is Habba Habba? So the guy I collected the taxes for. You gotta go back to him and... Oh, he's down there? Jeez, that's that's the whole way out. I, I just came from all down there. It's gonna take me forever to get back down there. Um, Alright, let's go to the market. I need to buy some foods. <laughs> hmm, we want some bread here. That'll do. Yeah, four stacks of bread. That'll do for a while. Um, let's check the tavern. Anyone home? No, no. Nobody worth talking to. Right, i got to go down to Habba, but by the time I get down there, he won't be there anymore, so I'll be in a different location. <laughs> for sure, Ski. Um, I'll head to Hammerad. See if I can find them bandits eh, in the area whilst I'm down here. Wait, hold on. Numa. Speak to him. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I'm here to deliver you on my demands. That's if you want to make an enemy of them and loot them. I don't want to do that. Um, location. Amarad. Amarad. Oh, as done, as done. Is currently at Samara Castle. So he's at Samara Castle now. He was at Haber. Now he's at Samara Castle. So 
the lords of the realm constant are constantly moving sometimes Samara all right so he's come from Habit and he's gone to this place Samara he's moving up in the world right let's be quick let's hope he's here approach the gates and hail the guard entry I don't think that's him. Lady Luca. Lu Lucia. Q. I don't know. That's your service. Want to know the location? He was here. He's gone. As done. Uh, in the field. Should, should be close to Haber. Oh, he's by Haber again? Seriously? Well, it might be his village. Okay. Yeah, habba habba. As done. There he is. No, no, don't go, don't, don't go past him. We meet again, Georgie. I heard that you gave charity to my attendants in the village, but times are hard, and I know that you mean well, but try not to make a habit of it. I'm their lord and protector, and I would rather not have them go looking. To strangers for assistance. Okay. About the task you gave me, here are all the taxes: three thousand seven hundred and forty. Uh, well done, Georgie. Very well done. Very well done indeed. You're truly the right person for the job. I promised you a fifth of the taxes, so the amount to seven hundred and forty-eight dinars. If you keep give me two thousand nine hundred ninety-two dinars, you may keep the difference. A good result for everyone here. Eh? Right, farewell. My relation with him is one now. Ta-da! There we go. Done. Done and dusted. Right. That's that mission done. Now I've just got to find this these desert bandits. Oh, I think that was a horse. Right, did uh, So that... that oh, they keep eluding me. Hold on, let me check my party. Let's see if we've got anyone I can rank up. Five. Yeah. If I can turn them all into footmen, then they'll be a little force to mess with. I'm just searching the desert for these bandits. Look, look at all this open space. Ah, that's the end of the map. I can't go any further that way. Okay. Oh, oh, just saw something. Let's investigate. Haba haba nuche mani na na. Haba haba tu na 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 na. Haba haba nu na 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 na. Oh, hello. Right, wages 138. Look at that. My current wealth is 4,249. See, all it takes is one tournament and. You're in the money. Hmm. Oh, I've done a full circle. Right, I'm gonna go down here. See if I can find any bandits. Cause oh, oh, definitely something in the area. There's a lot of these Saracens in the area as well. Hmm. Um, I wish to ask you something. No, I'm not messing with him. <coughs> His army would be trained because, well, he's, he's a lord. Wait, there it is. Bandit. Desert bandits. Good. If I f oh, there it is, I found it! I don't believe it. I found it. I found the lair. Ha! Yes, look at that. What are the odds of finding the lair? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it down. The odds of me just going right past, well, all you gotta do is find the bandits, sort of some bandits wandering around. And then... You'll kind of work out where their base is. 
I'm just doing a double save. Just give me some an edge, just in case I lose, but I don't doubt, well, I don't think I'll lose, because I think I are definitely outnumbered the enemy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, attack the hideout, ha 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 ha. Okay, Ymir and Catherine and some guards. Ready, men and women. We will fight to the death. Right. Is that one over there? No, it's just a fire. Right, everyone follow me. Let's move up into the rocks. Let's see if we can see anyone. Right. Everyone hold this position. Everyone fire orders, fire at will. Fire at will and hold position. Dude, get up the mountain. I know he's a crossbow man, but he needs to stay up there. Oh, okay, he's shooting. Okay, my crossbow man's firing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, we got him. Look at that. Rodek trained, uh, trained crossbowman. Wow, amazing. That was an amazing shot. I can't believe he took one out. I didn't even see one approaching. Right, I'm going to go up here and see if I can use my bow. I'm not much of an archer myself, but I'll give it a try. See if I can scope out anyone. Hmm. Right. Uh, everyone, charge. I'm just gonna. Oh, wait. I'm, I can hear some firing. Oh, oh, somebody's trying to get me. Look at that. Look how close that was. And I've got no. My shield won't work because my my weapon's a two handed weapon. Yeah. Uh, right. They'll, they'll charge and some will come out of this cave and I'll, I'll be ready. Ymir, be careful. I can hear her screaming. Oh, oh, one of my people have been knocked. Ymir, oh, she, she, Ymir's been knocked out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll be trained. Yeah. The only way she'll earn is through combat. There's a bandit killed by Katrin. Well done, Katrin. Oh, they're coming out of that cave. I'm waiting for them to come out with this one. Oh my gosh, all my people are getting taken down. We still got the crossbow man there. Nice shot. Alright. Sounds like there's another one down there. Oh no, the footman's been taken. I think he's my last man left. I was expecting some to come out of this cave. Go on, my dude. Oh, yeah. There's a bandit killed by Rode. Oh, we done it? That's it? Oh, okay. I guess you didn't need me. Butter. Okay, butter. Ooh, desert. Desert hat. Well. A tourniquet or whatever you call it. Javelins. Uh, lance. Ooh, that's pretty impressive. 14. I've already got 14. Smoked fish. Yeah, may as well take the fish. Some shields. Head wrappings. And, uh, yes. Okay. Oh, I can give them pieces of armor. My spare leftover armors. To my new companions. Right, well that's that's them taken care of. Uh, now I can turn them into veterans. Veterans. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna lead them for now. I'm just gonna get them all on the same level before anything else. Um, now, Ymir, you my dear, you need some clothes. There you go. I'm just gonna strip you off like that. Uh, let's get you a helmet. Uh, well, 
I don't have helmets. Right, what about your shoes? Four. She's only got four. On that, I can give her a 14. Let's do that. Uh, a 7. A 1. A 13. A 14. Let's give her a 14. Oh, she needs strength to do that. So 13 then. Go and have a 13. Uh, let's give you a shield. Uh, spear, can you use it? Yes, good, good. Uh, oh, I don't have any. I don't have any body armor. Okay, you're gonna have to keep it. You're gonna have to keep the dress. Uh, okay, well, just one weapon able to give. Right, that's you. Now, Catherine, you're gonna have to keep your clothing. Uh, set 40. Can you take this, please? Yes, she can. Uh, let's give her a shield. So she's got a sword and a shield. Now that will give her some protection. A four there. What's this? Oh, she's got a three. So let's give her the four. Very good. Anyway, the better armor I get from enemies. Yeah, the better I'll improve my little army. All right, that'll do. Right, the rest can just wait. Now, who do I need to speak to? Because I destroyed the bandits. We'll pull back to Emir Hazim. Emir Hazim. Let's try down here. Oh, hello. Bandits. More bandits. Emir. No, no. Let's see if I can find Emir Hazim. In the, uh, in the field, should be close to Mijevet. Mijevet. Right, who is Mijevet? Mija, Mija. Oh, no, that's Majid. Mijevet, Mijevet. Mijevet. Here. <coughs> okay, it's not too far from where I am. That's pretty close. That's pretty good. Right, if I see any riders, it'll be around here somewhere. Hmm. Well, he's not in the place, so he's probably up in the castle. Let's have a look. No, he's not in the castle. But let's request a meeting. Location, please, in the field close to Mawiti. 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 What a name. Mawiti. Where's Mawiti? So he was up there, Miravet. Now, where's Mawiti? What the? There is no Mawiti. Oh, he's up, it's up here. So he, he was there, he's gone straight. That's how he's got there, right. Alright, let me just keep an eye out. Is that him? Yes, that's him. That's him. Get him, get him, get him. We meet again, Georgie, my list. Oh! Oh, that was loud. I leveled up to... I leveled up three times that turn. <laughs> Splendid work. I just leveled up three times. <laughs> That's crazy. Splendid work, Georgie Militer. Your audacious attack is the talk of the realm. No doubt they or others like them will soon be back, but for a short while, you brought this land to a small respite. Uh, we are most grateful to you. Look at that. Seven reputation to him. Um, do you have any tasks, sir? I've... I have something you could help me with, an issue of lawless villain known as Marland of Feluca. He murdered one of my men and has been on the run from his judgment ever since. Can't let him get away with avoiding justice, so I'll put a bounty of 300 on his head. Friends of the murdered man reckon this assassin may have taken refuge with his kinsman in Ikbe. Uh, you might be able to hunt him down and give him what he deserves and claim the bounty for yourself. Sure, let's do it. And now my reputation is 8. 
and that makes me cooperative. And look, if you get it all the way to green, there's a chance he might offer you marriage with, well, one of his children marriage or something, you know. Say if they have some sons or daughters which aren't married, they can give you the hands of marriage, stuff like that. That's one way to win your heart, well, give your heart away. You help a leader and he'll accept you into his house. Yeah, and then you can become a, well, whatever, something. <laughs> Alrighty, right, right, right. Catherine, Catherine, she's leveled up, and so have I, three times. <laughs> Let's put a strength up. You need a minimum of ten strength for each companion. Then they can wear pretty much any armor, because below ten they can't really do it. Uh huh. Right, wound treatment. That's pretty good. Uh, phew. what am I gonna do? Uh, engineer. Let's just put her into engineering. It's all right. She'll be my engineer now. Let's just give her one-handed weapons skills. Uh, this cat. Oh, you mean she's been leveled as well? Skills. Oh my! You really need to get your strength up. So she's on an eight now. That'll, that'll improve her chances. Uh huh. Hmm. Riding. Oh, she's on free riding. That's good. That's good. Uh, pathfinding. Yeah, okay. Let's go pathfinding. Very good. Very good. Yes. Right. Uh, one ready to upgrade. I'll wait until 18. Uh, ready. <clears throat> right now me characters page I've got three points wow uh, wow 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 indeed shield I don't really well I don't know shield alright let's just put let's just put it on one I pretty much almost got everything on one <laughs> Which is good. Let's put persuasion on one. Prisoner management. Yeah, let's just go prisoners. Alright, I guess charisma maybe? Well, actually, let's just go in intelligence. Look, three more points to use. Put everything at least one. And then that will improve things. Yes. Um, ooh. Engineer. Okay, I don't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Let's just do that. So 13 intelligence, 10 agility, 10 strength, and 6 charisma. Alright. That'll do. Um, now, I've got to hunt down this guy. I forgot the name of the place, which is this, and I can show it on map. So this is where this um, person with the bounty on the head is. He's hiding in town, so I'll, I'll have to find him. And some soldiers are ready to upgrade from daily training. All right, let me just check. Only one there, four are ready. Right, let's improve them. Let's turn them all into footmen, you see. Then I can have them all on the same skill set. So I have 45 men. Right, let me just do a quick save. <clears throat> just in case I die. One more for good luck. <coughs> right. Good. 
Now let's go in the town. See if we can find the person. You have to go into the town itself and explore. See if we can see a suspicious person. Right. Oh, over here maybe. It could be him. Village elder, it's not him. Uh, the people with the bounties on the head, their names come up as nervous man or nervous woman. But I've never seen a nervous woman before. Oh, hello. Him. It's, it's gotta be him. Yeah, if it says nervous man, yeah, that means it's the person the bounties on. What do you want? I'm looking for a murderer by the name of Mound of Feluca. You fit his description. I don't understand, madame. I've never killed anyone. I think you've got the wrong man. Then drop your sword. If you are innocent, you have nothing to fear. We'll go now and talk to your neighbors. And if they verify your story, I'll go on my way. I'm not going anywhere, friend. You're going to have to fight for your silver today. No problem. I really just need your head anyway. I come not for money, but to execute the law. Alas, you cannot be made to see reason. Okay. Uh, I have not. I have come not for money, but to execute the law. Die, dog! Right, he's gonna kill kill you there. Oh, I thought I had him. Oh, he's sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. And my relation with this village has deteriorated because I've just killed someone, but I can always improve it back. See, so minus two now, but I've completed the mission. And I can... Uh, where is it? Um, oh. Not that. Um, I've got to see... Who's the person who... Oh, e Emir Hazan. Again, same person who left last time. Let's go back to the Mijavet. Wait, how am I looking on food? Uh, food, yes, yes. Right. The people are actually eating butter. Well, bread and butter. <laughs> right. I'm not sure where he'll be, but... There's a caravan there. Traders. Right, I'll ask this dude. No, go back to him. Uh, I wish to ask you location of someone. Hazad. Close to Amarad. Okay, close to Amarad. That's good enough. Amarad, Amarad. Where is it? Oh, I've just gone past it. Emir Hazan. Amarad. I don't see him. Emir Quiraz. There's somebody in there. Let's go to the castle. He might know. It's in close to Uzaga. Okay, Uzaga. Uzaga. Oh, it's there. He's going straight. Got a straight line. He's close to there. There he is. That's him. That's him. We meet again. What is it? About the task you gave me. I found Mom and uh, Feluca hiding in Ikbe and gave him his punishment. And we'll all be a lot better off without him. Thank you. Georgie Melissa for removing this long festering thorn from my side. Tis good. 
to know you can be trusted to handle things with an appropriate level of tactfulness. A bounty I promised and a bounty you shall have 300 dinars and not a couple less. Let me take the money sir, thank you. This is blood money, I can't accept this. Well, I need the money anyway, so I'm going to accept it. And look at that, my relation with him is nine now. Of course, George Miller, sir, here you are. Once again, you've my thanks for ridding me of that dishonorable knave. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Probably some swear word in their language. <laughs> well, the people of this region, anyway. Right, I could either explore this new region or stay in the desert and just constantly get missions, or I can try and uprise somewhere. Nowhere's particularly weak right now because I've just started the game, but as the wars progress, land from other places will be taken. But right now, the war is not really for me. Hold on. Let me speak to my companions about something. Uh, I'd like to ask you something. How do you feel about the things that are going in this company? I'm happy about your choice of companions, happy about your style of leadership, and happy about the general state of affairs. Or, um, ask you again. I suppose you know that I aspire to be queen of this land? Well, my lord, I would worry for you. Our histories tell us that power tends to corrupt. But in the end, I am comf comforted by the mercy and judgment you have shown as captain of this company. Would you then support my cause? I would, my lady, but I would strongly recommend that you reinstitute an old Caladric imperial tradition. The Council of Lords and Commons draw from both the nobles of the land and well-educated men of pro property, <coughs> with the power to overrule any new taxes or other measures that might tempt you, I, it would be for your own good, my lady. Please continue. If you are able to make such a pledge, man, madame, I think that it would help many of the lords of this land overcome any reluctance that they might have if you aim to restore the old Calderic system. Then, arguably, you are more legitimate ruler than any of these Come later, usurpers. Give me leave for several weeks, madam, and I will let it be known in the, in the noble courts of and merchant houses of this land that you intend to restore their ancient rights. Very good, you do that. Right, she's going off. Send, spread the word that I am to be queen of the land. <laughs> queen of the land with fifty men. <laughs> With basic farmers and stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, Ymir's gone now, but she'll be back in a couple of weeks in the game. So I had 45 men. Now it's, well, less. 44. So I'm going to go through the purple territory. Actually, I'll see if I can get some final recruits before I cross into the border. Uh, recruits. Three will join me there, that'll be good. Wait, what, what's my capacity for recruits right now? I need to check. How many can I have? 47. Oh, right, okay, that's the max. See, if Ymir comes back, she won't be able to come in because of, I'm, I'm full now. Oh, I messed that one up, but don't worry about it. If, if I get a casualty then there will be room, but I don't want to, I don't want anyone to die, you see. But if I put my leadership skills up, then there will be more space again. Dungan. Dungan. Right, let's, let's have a look at this castle. Ashgan Castle. That's well, with the purples now. Request entry. Hello. Dang, she is beautiful. At your service. Goodbye. What do you know ya? At your service. 
Okay, do you have any tasks? No, he has nothing. Farewell. What time is it? Oh, it's only like 10. Alright, that's fine. This is good, no? Oh, come on, what's going on? Right, what is that? That's a... Like a rock fall there? I can't go up that way. That's... that. Yeah, that's the edge of the map. Can't go any further. Uh huh. Look at all these mountains. There's bound to be bandits in this zone. So, I've got all desert warriors with me. You know, people from the Saracen army. I gotta find some bandits. Oh, there's Tolga over there. That's one of the hub cities. Let's go. There's bound to be some work here. Oh, hello. Look at that. 163 men. Shh. Look, if I was to cause war around here, 47 men ain't gonna do anything against all these people. I'll be outnumbered. And I've just said, I'm, I've just spread the word that I'm gonna be queen or something. <laughs> uh, Asia, traveler, tavern keeper, nothing. Ah, I can sell this rubbish. Yeah, 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 165, I'll get. Now, that means I'm over 6,000 gold. Horseman. Oh, there's nobody in here. Hmm. Let's leave. I'm alright with food for now. I've got, I've got a couple of stacks of food. This could be my last stop, though. Let's just go to Ishamaral. That'll be my next stop. Right, some units are ready to upgrade again. Twelve are ready. Right, let's improve them. Good. And it, it does show me my weekly cost. My weekly cost currently is 185 dinars, and I've got 6,024. Now, my troops are almost nearly all uh, the Saracen footmen. Yeah. So, recruits turn into footmen, footmen turn into veterans, veterans turn into horsemen or even infantry. So, horsemen will be a lot more powerful. So, once I get a chance. And I can take prisoners now as well. Right, tavern. Anyone in here? To speed two. Marinid. Nah, I'm not recruiting you. It's an all ladies group right now. That's all. That's all I'm recruiting. <laughs> Is right. Right, let's go to the castle. Anyone home? No, just the security. Uh, marketplace. Let's go and get some food. 50-50, okay. I've still got some food on me. Yeah, let's... Let's get some fruit. Let's spoil the men. And some cabbage, why not? Let's buy some cabbage. So, 284 for the food. That's alright. Let's leave. Alright. Uh huh. Tall book. Tall book. Nope. Well, it leads right into the snowy mountains up there. Hmm. Some jetty castle. Nara. <laughs> Cross the Nara Sea. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Come on, come on. Okay. Let's go to Nara. Across the Nara Sea. See if I can find any bandits. That'll be good, won't it? Get me some monies. <laughs> Excuse me. Na 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 na. I don't know why Christmas came to my head. It just did. 
Rise up, Stormcloaks. Rise up. Lady Raven. Ooh. You would make a lovely wife. There's nobody to speak to. I have to speak to a lady. Bella Noya. He runs that place. Halma. Halma. Yeah. We're going right past the desert zone. Where I just came from. See, I, I entered. I, I left the desert zone at this point. Here. And I've gone all the way up to. Here. I'm right on the border. Borderline of it all. The purples have a lot of mountain. Mountain area. I'm just going to call them purples because it's their colour. Right, I have some inventory ready to be upgraded. Two more. Good. They're almost all fucking. Which is going to be great. Uh oh, bandits. It's a bandit attack. Oh shoot! Where did you come from? Bandits are wanting to kill me. Oh, that was close. Oh, I love my axe though, but I have no protection from arrows. Whew. Right, where's the others? It's a bandit raid. Oh, there we go. The bandits fall before you as wheat to Scabbath. Soon you stand alone in the streets while most of your attackers lie unconscious, dead or dying. Searching the bodies, you find a purse which must have belonged to the previous victim of these brutes, or perhaps it was given to them to by someone who wanted to arrange a suitable ending to your life. Oh, somebody's been paid to kill me. Yep. Alright, let me try it again. Let me go to the tavern, please, without being killed. Yeah, somebody paid them folks to uh, kill me. <laughs> Alright, anyone upstairs? Oh, there's, there's no upstairs here. The castle. Lady Borge. Hoi. Oh, come on, let me up. Jump. There we go. <clears throat> Peace to you, and always remember to temper your fellow with mercy, your courage with honor. Do you have any tasks? A letter to Count Rosabar, Kingdom of Swagnia, Senzuda Castle. Okay, let's go. Alright, delivering a message to someone in Swagnia. Right, let me see if I can mark the place on the map. Send this castle. Oh no, don't tell me it's miles away. Oh, it's here. Okay, that's good, that's good. I'll make it there. Alright, it's a bit of a... Bit of a journey, but we'll make it. You know, just fast travel like this. If you hold down the R2 button, you can speed time. So it doesn't take as long to get there. Request a meeting. Okay, nobody's in. Dang. Nope, nobody's on. Right. It said he was here. He was. It was here at the time. I the message wanted to be. Yeah, but it'll be in the surrounding area somewhere. Now, who am I looking for? Count Richard Bath. Okay, Richard Bath. Let's try their room. Count Richard Bath. Oh, he's here. He's here. He's inside. <coughs> well, he was inside. I think he's just left. <laughs> Great. I just saw his name disappear. Just as I, as I clicked in. Just my luck. There he is, look. He's on the run. 
I have a message for you. Use a touch of humanity. Hmm. I bring a message. Right, message complete. Quest finished. And I got reputation up to six. He insulted me and I insulted him back. And he says, oh, you have a sharp tongue. I might have to rip it out or something like that. That was the brief talk. Oh, smoke in the distance. What's going on over here? War has broken out. I guess the Fargans are attacking the Nords. Hmm. The world will only be at peace once one faction rules the entire world. Before then, it's gonna be bloody. Okay, just under 200, that's alright, for wages. Actually, I best check my party. Alright, that's okay, we're fine. <clears throat> I'll head this way. Head right to Bulga Castle, that was my previous castle I was showing you on my other gameplay. On my, on my main game I, I run I rule the castle. This, because it's a great location to make loads of money. You know why? Because sea raiders are everywhere which are bandits. And they constantly just spawn bases right outside this area. And it's, it's a well known area for me. It's like the back of my own hand. Today the gods will decide your fate. They're the only characters that talk in the game, you know, which is crazy. <laughs> right, 22 men were fighting. Right, everyone, hold this position. I'm gonna advance and investigate. Everyone, uh, everyone again. Formation, stand closer. We want to. We want a tight army. Hold your ground, man. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Especially you two behind the tree. You're pretty safe from arrows. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, they got me. Right, my turn. See if I can weaken them a bit. Oh, I got it. Oh, no, no. I thought I got one then. I'll use up all my arrows, hopefully I can get someone. They're all trying to knock me off my horse, look at that, they're throwing spears and everything. I'll let them use up all their ammo before I send in my units. Oh, he got me! My, he got me horse. Oh, I got one! I got one! I got another one! Well, any damage I do against him is good, but once I run- Oh, shoot! I didn't realize how close I was to one then. Right, pull back. Everyone, charge, charge, charge. Help me, help me, help me. Oh. There's my men. Right, send them in. I've done what I can. My inventory will do their bit. Why are my archers attacking the inventory head on? And then my inventory are just going after one. Right, I'll join them. Get him, get him. Nice. I think they're going for the stragglers. I'm losing men here. Let's help these guys out. 
We're getting killed. What a red. What a red popping up. Oh, shoot. Bastard. Oh, excuse my language. Shoot. I'm almost dead. Woo -hoo -hoo. Level 7. That was close. Right, I best try and... That's good. That's good. One more. One more. Okay, that'll, that'll give me an edge. Oh! Whew. Help me, men. Help me. Oh, shoot. Right, I'm going to go back to where my men are. Hopefully they'll get them. There you go. Thank you. Oh, look how close. I was close to dying then. Well done, men. Oh, no. Hey, look at that. Trophy and talk of the town. I wonder what that one's for. Anyway, 13... I've lost 13 troops. I don't believe it. 13 dead. That was close. Alright, those recruits are still... Oh, Sea Raiders, let's capture them. Yep, 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 yep. And look at all this armor. See, they do they do drop lots of great armor. Look, 39 armor, so that is going to help me. Uh, 36 and then 3. This is high quality armor, this. Because the Sea Raiders are like mostly deserters. They were once in an army and then left it. Uh, well, the deserters will be like that, but 301. This is how I make so much money, and this this is what funds armies. Anyway, there's another group here. Twenty-eight men. Nice. This time I'm gonna hold the position. Everyone, hold this position. Actually, hold this position. Everyone, formation. Stand close. I'm gonna get off my horse this time. Everyone, fire at will. Yeah, any moving targets. Hold in position. Right, here they come. Inventory ready on that line. Ready to charge. Ready. Ready. Yeah, well done, Prosperman. Oh, oh, watch out, watch out. Charge, charge. Oh, I haven't fully healed yet. So, it's all down to them. I, I can't risk getting myself killed. And the ones to survive will definitely level up. I'm losing so many men. I don't believe it. Because these men are from the desert lands. They're due to due, used to fighting in the hot sun. Not this type of weather. Look at all the red. We're getting slaughtered. Poor Cardassia! Shoot! I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. I should have saved. Everyone, follow me. I need help. Oh no! I can't even retreat. Oh, no. <gasps> 17 killed. Your enemies take you prisoner. I've lost 800 dinars. Yeah. Oh. And I can't do anything now. I'm prisoner. I, sh I should have saved. I shouldn't have gone straight into combat. What's left of my army has been taken prisoner. 
As painful days of being dragged about as prisoner, you find a chance to escape from your captors. There's only two left. Me and Catwin. That's it. I'm gonna have to go to Mazen, get some reinforcements. I had an army, I've lost it. Anyway, I lost 800 um, dinars and my army. <laughs> That's why you should always save. Okay? I just made a rookie mistake there. <sighs> my army was too weak. Yeah, that was the truth. They were just getting slaughtered. If I had more health, I might have been able to do something about it, but yeah, I, I, I couldn't quite do anything. Hmm. Oh well, <laughs> I'll definitely save now. Oh well. Or I could go back to a, to an old save, but I'll just lose everything that's happened. It doesn't, look, it doesn't really matter. I can just start again. Ymir will come back and say, "Where's all my, Where's all your army gone? I thought we were going to take over the kingdom." <laughs> and then the army is only eight people. <laughs> that was a silly mistake, though. Ah. Uh. Uh, right, I'm gonna exit now. That is gonna be the end of part one. I will try and resume this gameplay sometime in the future. Um, yeah, well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Do be sure to subscribe for more like this and do post your suggestions of games you want to see. Um, any games, well, yeah. Any more parts you want me to play of other games? Games I've already streamed in the past, but I haven't done a second part or something. Any game I've played in the past, just let me know if you if you want to see any more. Um, once again, there will be another giveaway at 500 subscribers. Three different prizes. So, more information once I hit over 500 subs. And then, yeah, there will be more giveaways at one after after 500 as well so there's more to come but that's the that's going to be a milestone to hit and when i do there will be prizes rewards stuff all you have to do is be a subscriber to enter that is all and yes do be sure to join me in the next one thank you for watching stay tuned for more tell your friends good afternoon good evening and good night no copyright intended from the truman show movie with Jim Carrey <laughs> yeah Jim Carrey said hey you just used my line <laughs> don't worry Jim don't worry Jim I'm a doctor not an engineer uh, and now I'm using Leonard McCoy's from Star Trek sorry Leonard yes illogical humans ain't that right Mr. Spock well thank you for watching stay tuned for more join me back in part two when I'm available next. Yes, I've just been fairly busy. And, well, not not very well recently. So, I've, I've, been, I've been well and then not well. So it depends on how I feel sometimes. Whether I can play or not. That's why I've been off for a while. I've had to take lots of strange medication, which helps me a little way. But, but then gives me negatives. So, without going into detail with what's what's up, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I will be in hospital again. Um, what you call it? In October, so I won't be playing through October at all. No streams, no no videos. I might try and do a video bef before October. Hit um, yeah, September. I'll, de I'll definitely be able to do some videos then. Yeah, but the month after October, I'm gonna be out of it. I'm gonna be in hospital for a while. So yeah, a good a good month 
two months at least. Well, I'll I'll, I'll be I'll be home after after a week, but um, I'll I'll just be um, in bed a lot, trying to get me rest, trying to get me strength up because this operation's deep, and I can't live without it. So yes, it's an exchange I have to make. <laughs> so no games for life. Well, if you want to call it that. Anyway, I just hope I get through. And if you don't hear from me, you know what's happened. I'll become a zombie. <laughs> yes, but no, it's it's nothing life-threatening. No. It's all to do with sight. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hey, oh, excuse me, my face is gone. Bye. <laughs> Sounds like Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello, dear tea, sugar. <laughs> yeah. Bye.